Hi, I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudla. I'm Evgeny Donsker. I'm Henry Larson. I'm Peter Toretko, and, and you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back. Here we are once again for another live watch along with Game to Love. Uh, yeah, we just had that incredible match that just finished, which was saw Milos Raonic saving a match point against uh, Ugo Umber, but then finally pulling it back from 5 1 down in the tiebreak to go through. So he will now be facing Daniel Medvedev in the next round. What do you make of that? Mate, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. But my focus right now is on Rafael Nadal. Obviously, we've got the two Spanish flags side by side. It's going to be Buster Nadal again. And looking yep. at the head-to-head -head before, it's not looking too good for Buster. I think I've seen <laughs> nothing no, nothing other than Rafael Nadal's 1,002nd victory. Yeah, literally. I mean, uh, it's... Well, they only played in the hard court at the beginning of the year, didn't they, in Australian Open? And he uh, absolutely wiped the floor with him in straight sets. Uh, since then, obviously, he got to the uh, US Open semifinals. But it's going to take a very, very big performance to take out Rafa, especially in the form that he's in. He's looking like he's hitting uh, his best form again already. And that's only after a couple of matches on, on the indoor hard. So it's going to be tough. But vamos, Rafa. A lot of people were going to be saying during this match, I'm sure. Yeah, Not yeah, for sure, mate. And um, I'm just excited to see what what's going to happen. Obviously, it seems to be slightly delayed. I'm not sure why. Um, they've had so much time to prepare for this for this match, considering yeah. the other one uh, finished quite quite swiftly. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, let's have a look at look back at who they've all, who they've both played. Obviously, Feliciano Lopez was the uh, first test for Rafael Nadal. Gave him a good test as well, really, to be honest, which yeah. a fair play to Feliciano. Played really well, took the first set, but then Rafa got going and, yeah, it was game over once it was one all. Uh, and Jordan Thompson, yeah, first set destroyed. Second set, just too little too late, really. Shall we look down now at Buster? Booster, clean your booster. He's uh, he, he obviously got had to. Who did he play? He played uh, Hugo Gaston, is that correct? Yeah, Hugo Gaston, Jan Leonard Struff, and Gombos. And not the toughest route, so uh, through now, to be Buster's had a nice little route through, to be fair. Um, I thought maybe Gombos could be the biggest uh yeah, trouble there yeah. but wasn't to be Gombos is he's okay but I, th I think it did it go to three sets no i think no, didn't no, it straight there. straight yeah. sets all of them are straight i mean you expect him to beat all of those players straight sets to be honest considering the uh year that he's had he's had a really good year uh i think he can uh go away no matter what uh he can go away feeling uh, proud of himself this year uh i think if he loses tonight, though, then it's guaranteed that Schwartzman makes it into the ATP finals in London. So Mate, he's already there. He's already yeah, there. yeah, pretty much is. But that will seal it if uh, Karina Buster loses. Okay. So, nice. so there you go. Rafael Nadal is the man he's got to take out, which is <laughs> no easy thing, is it? It's just going to. It's like running into a brick wall. <laughs> Mate, I don't give him a chance. I just feel bad. Obviously, it's nice to go into these watch-alongs with a bit of optimism for the other player. But for me, Buster, I just don't give him much chance at all. And then, obviously, the winner of this is going to be playing the winner of Stan Wawrinka Zverev later on tonight. Uh, we'll be covering that in the live watch-along too. Zverev's yeah. the favourite. But Stan, we've seen what he did to Rublev yesterday. He's already yeah. ended Rublev's uh, winning streak. Is he going to end Zverev's? I think Zverev's on like 10 or 11 wins in a row. So that's going to be super interesting to see what happens there. Yeah, um, yeah for sure. And then obviously the other match what you, what you touched on, Wild Life there saying, Ugo choked. Would you call it a choke? I, I A little bit, but I just think that he was the, by far the better player throughout the match. He's the most ex he was the most exciting player to watch. And Raonic was just staying in it with his serve, to be honest. That was the only thing keeping him in the match. And other than that, I think 
Ugo Umbe is going to be one of these players that will put bums on seats and people will want to go and watch him play because he hits some amazing winners throughout the course of this match and looks like a real star of the future, I think, in tennis. And Raonic, it's a little bit samey. It's just like serve and then yeah. finish it off. But he did well, Raonic, to come back, considering he didn't play very well, to dig out a win. So... Got to Mate, give him one thing about it. Umber, though, he did look shattered. Towards the end of that tie break, he looked really spent, like, energy-wise. So, well, it might be a blessing, really, him going out, because I don't think he would have given much of a battle in the next round, to be honest. Uh, he looked happy, though, at the end of yeah. the match, surprisingly. And th think of his route, though. He's played three sets in every single one of his matches, and yeah. he's been sort of doing really well in those final sets. But every all good things... And he's entered, like, every tournament, I swear, the last, the last few tournaments. So... I think he needs a well-deserved rest now and prepare for the for the new season ahead. Exactly. Um, Quarterfinals of the Masters. I mean, I'm sure he would have, wouldn't have even uh, dreamt of something like that at the yeah, beginning. Yeah, in Paris of the year. as well. It's pretty epic. Exactly. So it, I think if that match today, if there was a crowd there, they would have been going nuts for some of the shots that he was playing because some of them yeah. were like astonishing. He was hitting some of them that were hitting clear, clean lines and... Raonic didn't stand a chance and he was serving really well as well. Yeah, just, just on the subject of what you were saying about time on court, obviously he spent a lot of time on court, but looking at Buster there, and this so far the three matches he's played before, he's had one hour nine, one hour 20, and another one hour 20. So um, he's not been on the court very long whatsoever, uh, Buster. Obviously, I think they've all been straight sets as well, like you said. Uh, yeah, yeah they are so. there. You've got it there. <laughs> Sorry, it's I wasn't so even looking. That's all right. No, I just pulled it up just because you were talking about it. It's just showing that their last matchup was obviously uh, in Rome where uh, Nadal won 6 1 6 1, but that was on clay. But yeah, still. I think we did a live watch along for that as well. So we're not really bringing too much love for uh, Buster the last time we did it. Um, luck, I mean, not love. We're not giving him much love either. But <laughs> no, I we kind of jinxed not... him last time because he got absolutely smashed off the court by Rafa. And I think we're going to see the same again. Obviously, this time it's on hard court. That time it was on clay. So. You'd say it maybe balances it slightly more, but I still think it's got to be like 90% Rafa, 10% Buster. I think that Rafa is Rafa's to lose more than it is Buster's to win. So if Rafa doesn't turn up, then Buster has a chance. I think if Rafa turns up, could be in for a quick night. Yeah, and then obviously the match afterwards, we've got Stan. We're getting a lot of love for Stan in the chat. We've got Charlie Petanelli saying, yeah, Stan the man's going to win. We've got Michael Gamond, big Stan fan as well. Um, yeah, we've got that. And then Sharuk Shaw, another go. Ale Stan. Yeah, well, Stan Vavrinka, I think he won over the hearts of a few people, didn't he, uh, on that match against uh, Andre Rublev, just to show he still got it. And it was just really refreshing. So has he still got it again <laughs> against uh, an inform Alex Verev, who got pushed all the way to the wire with uh, Adrian Manorino? And Manorino was the hometown, uh, well, hometown, home countryman. But Stan Wawrinka's not going to be, so will it be an easier matchup for him and probably a bit more tired? Well, than, well uh, I've got a question there for you, Ben. Does Buster do anything better or even as well as Rafa? No. <laughs> That's my <laughs> personal opinion. You're not thinking one thing? Come on, you've uh, got to give me one thing Buster can do as good as Rafa on the dial. Yeah, really awful gamesmanship where he just tries to uh, ruin it for the opponent. He'll do things on court which he'll try and get cheap points or try and delay things. He does that really well to try and disrupt matches. So he's better than Rafa at that. And here we go. We're just going to kick off now. First point, Rafa to serve. And just like that, ace. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, that's how you start a match. Vamos. Twelve. Oh, got a lot of fireworks going off here tonight. <laughs> hopefully, there's going to be some. One. Hopefully, yeah, I did hear that one. It sounded like some dynamite. <laughs> Felt like it was behind me. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Was, uh, twelve travel twenty-one. They're saying if Rafa doesn't turn up, then PCB wins by walkover. I think that's his only chance right now. Yeah. I mean, hopefully we're going to be seeing a few fireworks on court tonight and uh, probably more likely out of the Rafa forehand. But a good winner there from Buster. 
Maybe yeah. he's just going to – he's got no pressure on him in this match. Yeah. No one expects him to win. Maybe he'll surprise everyone. Mate, no one expects him to take a set. So whatever he can do, really, there's no pressure on him at all. He can just play his game and see what he can do against one of the world's best. Yeah, uh, Michael, they're asking, will Rafa tank like Joker? Um, for me, I don't think that's – that's just not Rafa Nadal. He's not the, the player who does anything like that. He treats every point like it's his last. Um, He's got a very different mentality to everyone, I think, on tour. So for me, I don't think he's the type of player to really ever go into a tournament not trying to win it. Wow, great play there from Rafa. Pushed Colenio Busta into the corner and then attacked the net for a nice put away with the volley. Really good play from Rafa. Yeah. What do you make of his outfit today then, Ben? It's the same one, isn't it? As every... Yeah. I know. I'm just interested to see oh. what, you, what you think of it. Yeah, it's a nice little, uh, nice little number, isn't it? It's uh, got the I pink. I think you'd be against the green, mate. Uh, well, that's what might be doing him the favour. So he's blending in with the background. That's what I've been saying that people <laughs> need to do. <laughs> he's just gonna have to watch those shorts, mate, and then <laughs> see where he is. Great winner down the line by Rafa. There you I'm go. Fresh mine. I think I'm slightly behind. One me. love. In the words of Blue. One yeah, guess who joined us today, Ben? We've got Jax. Hey. Honestly, went very quiet the other night with the Rublev with Renka match. Yeah. She was uh, commenting all up until with Renka started uh, hitting some <laughs> backhand winners. Yeah. <laughs> until the elegant chunk started uh, putting it on Andre yeah. Rublev. I hope you're well. Hope you enjoyed your uh, dad's birthday the other day. Yeah, for sure. Cheers. And there you go. So, what's that he's got in by the side of him? They look like dates or something that he's got <laughs> in there. Grapes? No, it look like dates. A date's good for energy? I don't know. I think I think they give you the runs, don't they? I don't think that's maybe that's his excuse for the toilet break after the first set. Yeah, here we go. Buster to serve anyway. Jack is in mourning apparently. I thought she was saying it was the morning there. Yeah, she's got morning <laughs> wrong, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rafa, what was that forehand? <laughs> <laughs> Into the floor, rolled to the net. So, 15 love and Carino Busta. Is he going to uh, give us our first game to love? Who's going to give it to us? Mm, I think it's got to be Rafa, is not it? Rafa gives us everything, mate. Everything positive comes oh, from him, usually. And apparently Wildlife saying uh, Djokovic eats dates for energy. Oh. Mm, there you go. Uh, and M's N7. Can you it's tell me when, when it's the next match? So it's after this one. Not sure an exact time, but it'll be when this one finishes, that's for sure. I think it's supposed to be 7 o'clock, so it depends how quick this one will be. Yeah, so... But most about, likely 7 o'clock. Yeah, but anyway, get, people in the chat, give us your predictions. What do you think the score is going to be on this one? Both serving quite well to start the match. Do you reckon it's going to go tie break? Um, no, I'm going for... Uh, I'm going for 6-4, six, 6-2. Six, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good uh, guess, I'd say. And he, with that, it just goes wide and denies us the game to love. And I would say, oh God, I'm going to go 7 5. Oh, it's very close. And 6 3. 7 5. <laughs> it's just gone one up on your one. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> and with that, we've got Bjorn there saying yeah. he's going with a guy from Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. I would go with that guy too. Very wise. Yeah, so there you go. One game all. Uh, Karenio Busta, he manages to hold hold his serve. And Rafa, don't forget, he's going to be looking to well, get into the semi-finals because he's going to want to extend that Masters. Uh, well, he's got the most uh, Masters joint with Djokovic at the moment. He'll be wanting to just make that uh, just one extra, just get ahead again. I'm sure he'll be wanting that title back. Djokovic pegged him back, didn't he, by winning uh, in Rome? 
Wildlife, they're saying 6-3, six, 6-4 six, Rafa. And Dasha All is going for 7-6, six, 6-4 six, Rafa. So everyone uh, so far is on the consensus that we're going to see two sets from Rafa on and now, and that's it. Well, Karenio Buster has got something to say about it. And look at that. That backhand's looking good from Buster early yeah. in this match. It's the second really hard backhand cross court that he's uh, put on Rafa. Yeah, and there's actually a good point here. Rafa is one behind Djokovic, apparently, on Masters titles. Is that correct? I thought there was I, even. I thought there were even. No, but it says Nelson and Beyonce, and I believe Novak has one more. Is that correct? I'm not sure. Is that, was, that, was that with Rome? Did he go in front of Rafa? I'm not sure, but if Rafa wins this, he'll be, he'll be number one. Whether it's joint number one or clear number one, it's another matter. But he'll have the most Masters if he is to win Paris. Yeah, is Djokovic has the most with 36 Masters. And Nadal, what, 35? Yes, I believe so. Excuse my apologies. I thought they were they were level. Federer has 28. Bit has got some way to go. Rafa down the line. And Buster, he's firing that backhand. He's going to have to hit it. Oh, it's long from Rafa there. And it's love 30. Ooh. Bus is bringing some sauce early on. Jackie, there were predictions. 6 4, 7 5, Rafa. Very close. Only a break on each one. So yeah. Grigor's just confirming, yeah, they would be tied. So Djokovic is one up right now. If yeah, Rafa yeah. go all the way and win Paris, they'll both be at 36 all. I think in my mind, I'd probably already given him this Masters for some reason. <laughs> so I don't know why. Probably because Djokovic wasn't in it. But it's never over. There's still other good players left in this tournament, despite Rafael Nadal being the hot hey, favourite. Sverev surely is going to have something to say about it. He will do. He will back do. Back-to-back colognes in the form of his life, playing really well. He is. But Rafael Nadal, it's going to take a very, very consistent player to uh, take out Rafael Nadal, not just any old uh, schmuck. <laughs> Great play from Rafa there. There Pushed him out wide with the serve and then... One-two punch, mate. Yeah, that's it. Into the open court. He just loves them shots so much. Look at this. Perfection. Opens up his body. Forehand opposite way. Nothing you can do there. No, no, exactly. 30 all. So he's done well there. He hasn't gifted Buster his first break point. Oh, first service. Let there from uh, Rafa. Here we go. Gets another crack at this. Pulls out the wedgie. So what do you make about the other semi-final? We know that's going to be now Medvedev, um, Raonic. I think Medvedev wins. Yeah? Yeah, just the way that if Raonic plays the same way he played today, I don't see him winning. Fair enough. Yeah, Raonic I just... Uh, too bad today. Maybe being harsh from Raonic. I thought he had a good, uh, good match. No, he didn't. He was very passive. A lot of his... He hit 40% slice backhands today. He's serving and, well, though, right? I know you told me the ace statistics are quite high still for round it. Yeah, but I still just get the feeling that uh, Medvedev is going to be able to get more back in play. Uh, I just got... I just The octopus, isn't he? <laughs> well, it was It was pretty amazing, actually, today, oh, wasn't it, against Schwarzman? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think he's hitting some good form. I don't... Um, Milos, he's not been at, it at his best but he's still just pulling out results and I don't think you can be like that against Medvedev I think he's going to finish him off yeah it's a fair point mate I think they might get to a tie break but yeah I think uh, Medvedev's a stronger player right now that'll be good mate for my uh, bracket I've got Medvedev to reach the final that'll give me a lot of points yeah wise and, oh, it's a good rally here they're going cross court oh he's got to hit the net cord there if Buster Rafa recovers Going oh, wild, and he's gifted him a break point. First break point of the match goes to Corona Buster. I don't think anyone would have seen that coming. We're all do you mind be just uh, refreshing your stream, Ben, please? My, my I think it'll come in line with mine. Not on this one, the, you're one you're watching. <laughs> Apologies. I can't <laughs> seem to get it in sync with yours, otherwise. No worries, man. 
Cheers. Can't even can't even load it back up again now. Stop. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Just Sorry. have to rely on you. <laughs> well, here we are. We're calling a bus to break point here. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, the things we do, eh? The things we do. You're gonna have to run and run everyone through what's going on. I can't even see it right now. <laughs> have you got it back? <laughs> no, you're not yet. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I think it's a second serve, Rafa. Oh, he's, he's dug down. It's very tense. Oh, and there we go. He saved the break point. Brilliant. Yeah. Rafa's shot. Cross court forehand. Whipping motion. Yeah, yeah. It was very good, that. That's the type of Rafa way of saving points. Mate, that's the flick of the wrist we love. Yeah, he gets all of that rotation in that wrist and that uh, very, very uh, crazy grip that he has. Probably one of the most, uh, well, unorthodox grips, really, compared to a lot of other people. Yeah. Just so effective, it. mate. You can't really criticise at all. Wild live there saying, is it just me? Or has Rafa's forehand aged better than Federer's? Yeah, I'd say that. I think that's a fair comment. I think that uh, Federer's, he's, his all-round game is still solid. But, yeah, I think Rafa's really uh, honed that forehand over the years and it's really become his main weapon just so dangerous and so weird that he's right-handed as well <laughs> i still can't get over that also a very good golfer ah oh, very a good professional yeah. golf tournament the other day and um i forget where he finished now i was in the top 10 of something crazy yeah that's what happens when you're a sports what an athlete mate yeah true sportsman here we go. Serving. Advantage Nadal. Not giving Buster an inch here. Oh, just long on that serve. Yeah, Jackie confirming there. We need Medvedev to, to win. Obviously, we've both got him going to the final. So, uh, yeah, don't worry, Jackie. I think we'll be okay. I'm banking on it anyway. <laughs> oh, it's a double fault there from Rafa. What's going on? That's not normal. This is, mate, what's happening? He's getting rattled by his... Uh, I think country. you need to calm down, mate. It was one double fault. All right, all right. Take a chill pill. Too much Rafa hate already coming from that side. Not even no Rafa hate. It's just we've put a <laughs> lot of expectation on his shoulders. And at the moment, he's getting the pressure. It's the other way round than we expected. Yeah, and then uh, we've got Fitz Lane saying, uh, where can I see the match? Unfortunately, we're not able to show it on YouTube, but you can watch it on, I believe it's on ESPN, oh, we've got Tennis winner. TV, uh, and any gambling sites, if you've got any of them, you can sign up for free and watch it on there. Yeah, that was a great winner of cross court. He brought Buster into the net and then fired it into the open space. Mate, Buster was in no man's land. I don't know what he was doing, just hovering around the net. Eight minutes long this game. Rafa trying to hold serve. Oh, let it's a lot of lets, isn't there, in this service game? Maybe the, the net's a bit too high. <laughs> yeah, put it down a bit. <laughs> Let's have some longer rallies. That's usually my excuse, mate, when I'm playing. Must be the net's a bit too high. Too high? Because surely it can only go to one height. <laughs> can it not? <laughs> no, because you can you don't need it at like the full tension, do you? You don't know more. In some of those ones, they had those like sticks that they hold them up, don't they? Yeah. And there we go. Rafa Hole. It's 2-1. It's a wow. long one, but he's managed to do it. That was a very, very, is that a pivotal one? And they keep, <laughs> and breathe, on these, and breathe. keep focusing on these dates that he's got <laughs> on that side table. It's a bit Why weird. I've not seen it before. Is he like is he that old now that he eats dates? Like that's what sort of my grand my my grandma she has them. <laughs> Mate, usually I'm... everyone's got the bananas, isn't they? Like about ten bananas. No, nah, he's sucking on dates, mate. Uh, yeah, interesting start to the match. Probably more competitive than we gave uh, Kalenio Bus the credit for, to be honest. And you expect him to play well. He's got to the semi final of the U.S. Open. An interesting thing for you there, Ben. Actually, I saw on Twitter yeah. the other the other day. Obviously, Rafa now's hit twenty Grand Slam victories. Yes. And um, if you see his new mask he's got, he's got a little hashtag 20 on the, on the side of it. <laughs> nice. After, not... obviously, after the win, he was always talking about our oh, numbers. They don't really mean too, too much to me. I just take each match as it comes. And yeah, there's yeah. been a lot of Djokovic fans sort of getting very angry by that, saying, if it doesn't really mean too much, why do you have number 20 on the side of your mask? 
It doesn't mean too much. No, but he's always he's always come out and said about how it's just numbers, like, ah, it doesn't really matter to me. Da, 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 da. He's always played down the fact that he's won 20 Grand Slams, but in theory, he's got it on the side of his mask, so it must mean quite a bit to him. I'm sure it means the world to him. I'm sure that's the main <laughs> thing that he's worried about in his whole career is getting to 21 and beating Federer and Djokovic. I don't think any of them can lie through their teeth and say, oh, I just love tennis, mate. I'm not bothered about the whole debate of who's the greatest. I think come he on. should come out and say that, though. Do you not, is, I just think he's too much nah, of nah, a... He's, no, you can't be doing that. He plays the too much of a... What do you reckon he should be like Federer when he won... What was it? Five Wimbledons, and then came out with that special jacket, and then like with the special special shoes. Like he had the whole outfit made for his because he's a five time Wimbledon champion, that type of thing. See, that's what that's what you could do, but maybe Rafa wants to. No, be I just want bit. I want Rafa to own it a little bit more. Well, maybe he will once it's over, not whilst it's going on, because he probably doesn't want to jinx himself. Yeah. That's true. He's and he's suffering. quite a superstitious character, isn't he? As we know. Oh, yeah, for sure. He definitely is. Yeah, Jackie, they're saying, Rafa has to be the king of modesty and so keeps improving and adapting. Oh, God, yeah, definitely. He said and so Yuri, good. they're saying, Rafa is having too many dates for a married man. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's got a big bowl uh, there. Yeah, big bowl of dates. Hopefully you don't go for all of them, mate. You'll have, you need a few toilet breaks. And literally, those that's all they do is they run through you, dates. So I don't know why <laughs> he's having them during tennis, mate. <laughs> and Buster's been v- v- pretty good so far. He's threatening now the game to love. Yeah, and he's looked pretty solid on his two service games so far. It's Rafa that's been struggling. There we go, 40 love. Which side are you going to put it? Goes down the tee. Rafa wide. And there we go. Game to love. Cut in your booster. Cheers. Cheers. So, yeah, Rafa on the Dow, two games all with Carino Busta. I feel like this, this match moment... really hasn't started yet. It seems to be a bit slow. <laughs> At 18 minutes, nothing really to report on. The most exciting thing's been Rafa's date. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think, I think it's harder as well to uh, get into each of the matches when there's no crowd as well. I think this tournament has set really, you've really felt the fact that there isn't a crowd there. And it's uh, people like Rafa probably thriving on that. Like, every time he hits one of those amazing shots as a winner, there's the crowd go crazy for it. So, and he thrives off that. Just think that right now, it's just like a couple of guys in the crowd. Just oh, with... mate, it is sad. Sport can't survive without fans. This is just a temporary fix. Yeah, um, I'm kind of hating it. I think football's a lot worse. In fact, uh, yeah, I don't. I'm the only one that's it's surviving. It's hard to get out with football right now without any fans or anything. I'm, the only one that's sort of surviving is uh, UFC. To be honest, yeah. But boxing. I watched the uh, Derek Chisora's fight the other night, and. Uh, <laughs> and they, I didn't realize they were putting fake crowd noise on for the boxing. What's that about? Hey, they're doing it for all the sports. No, not in UFC, they don't. There's no need. It's just two people trying to beat each other's heads in. You don't need crowd noise. You just <laughs> hear them actually punching each other's heads in. That's more horri- That's that's more crazy than there being like a fake crowd there. Mate, that's too violent for me. I can't really watch it. Mate, come on. It makes me wince. Makes me wince watching Rafa pull the pants down of all of his opponents as well. But that's uh, <laughs> we see that often enough. Yeah, obviously we've got Lamb joining us. How are we doing, mate? Go on, Long time Lamb. No Go on, Lamb Shank. What's that? Jackie saying Hugo should have won. I think a good loss at a young age is an, an excellent thing. Yeah, I think he learned a lot from this tournament and he. I think he comes away knowing he was the better player against Raonic. He knows that he literally could have won that match. He had match point. So he's got nothing to be ashamed of. And he can go home and have a rest now. Wow, great shot from Rafa. Buster just trying to get it back in. And there you go. Great volley from Rafa. 40 back to love. Back game to loves, maybe. maybe. Emma asking, does anyone actually want PCB to win? 
Anyone in the chat? Because there's no one here, I don't think. Maybe Ben secretly. <laughs> ben could have a little secret passion for PCB. He's not telling us about. No, Aside from that, I don't not, have a, I think I don't everyone's have, rougher here. He's one of the only players I don't have a secret passion for is uh, PCB, unfortunately. Mate, I'm Wild with life. Ken Lee completely. Vamos, Rafa. Always what? win or lose. <laughs> Wild life. Don't give a rip about a crowd in UFC or boxing. It's good to know, mate. Good to know. It's wide and game to love. Rafael Nadal. So, three games to two. What do you reckon? Uh, do you reckon he said before the match they say, so Rafa, uh, we're just going to set up your uh, seat by the side. Uh, what do you want on the table? Um, I think I ate that. Uh, I don't know one banana. I want a few of the dates in the ball. In the ball, in the ball. A thousand <laughs> dates for every winning, every winning. Yeah. Ball. <laughs> <A thousand. laughs> it's just like a big pile of dates <laughs> just on this table. <laughs> I tell you what, I I beat Cranio Pusta and I eat one thousand date in the same match. There you go, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Imagine that he's running around holding his stomach by the end. <laughs> well, so far, mate, the great, the, the I was going to say grapes. The dates haven't done too well. No, Three... he, he, I think he tried to open them a little bit then, but didn't manage. <laughs> no, <laughs> it just sort of peeled. He's giving bit. up on them. He's pushed Peel. them to the back of the table right now. He's not really feeling them. <laughs> I think they're making him feel a bit sick. Oh, mate, maybe they're not the right brand. Maybe they got. Maybe they're not fresh enough for him. Maybe he's a bit of a diva. <laughs> Maybe they didn't get the right ones. He's just sitting there. Looks like he's shivering. Just trying to keep those legs warm. And uh, yeah. someone in the crowd there, who's that? He looks a bit bored. Just, looks like he's falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Buster's coach. Uh, <laughs> that's not promising. Don't blame him. <laughs> Uh, Mate, it's not been a very exciting match so far, I'll be honest. I'm Rafa's biggest fan, but so far he's not really uh, turned up. <laughs> what I'd like to say, the dates are an incentive for him to finish the match quickly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then you're allowed access to the dates. <laughs> <laughs> it's like past the parcel. You get to peel one layer of the uh, cling film <laughs> off at each uh, change of ends. Oh, it's long, that return Gosh, from... Poor. No, come on! What's going? On? Is this going to go? To me, this is what I said to you against Thompson. As much as Rafael and I won that match, I wasn't that impressed at all. I didn't think he played particularly well. He turned it up in spells, but he couldn't return Thompson serves. There were so many unreturnable serves from Thompson, and Thompson's not a particularly fast server, so um, it doesn't bode Indeed. well at all. It makes me think if uh, Nadal does come up against Zverev or even a Medvedev, will he stand a chance? Is he going to get blown off the court? Or will Rafa does do what he always does and just raise his game? Yeah, I think there's another level to go. Don't you think he's in like second gear? Let's look back third... to like a few weeks ago against uh, Djokovic in the final. I know that was a Roland Garros, <laughs> yeah. but his return in that day was probably, I think, one of the best returning performances I've ever seen in tennis. It was, it was amazing. Good. It was like God mode, wasn't it? It was just yeah. crazy. Oh, he's missed the smash there, and. Uh, now, 15.30, eh? small window of opportunity opening up there. <laughs> and uh, John Nye saying, unpopular opinion, PCB is fun to watch. No, fair enough, mate. I know there's a few people who do like um, PCB. I've seen a lot on Twitter, a lot of love for him. It causes a lot of controversy. I think that's why people like watching him. He can uh, really stir things up. With I'm not sure if Djokovic's uh, fans likes him too much, especially yeah. after what happened in uh, US Open. Well, it's a good winner from him there. And then aside from that, he also come out and criticised Djokovic for um, gamesmanship, saying he always does the same thing with his medical timeout. He can't speak about games. He's a hypocrite. Like He was calling him out for it, but he does the same thing. So it didn't make too much sense. I think he was just a bit uh, disappointed he lost. Yeah, mate. That is... <laughs> he can't say that. So the, some of the stuff he was doing the other week in one of his matches, I can't forget who he was playing. But he was... It was... I was shocked. He was just moaning about something. Is it Shapovalov? I can't remember which match it was now. I'm going to have to look down the list quickly. Sorry, everybody. Who was he playing? It wasn't Anderson. Was it? It might have been. Yeah, I think it was Umber. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I believe it was Umber. And uh, even when the ball, uh, he claimed that the, um, the the line judge like fell over behind him. But it was after he had already hit the ball, so it didn't put him off. And he was saying that it made a noise and put him off. And he stopped the whole match for five minutes due to it. Trying to get um, and then it, it affected Umber, and Umber, I think, lost the set. Yeah, Ayushman, they're saying PCB is a budget rublev. <laughs> <laughs> budget rublev. What is it? Why budget? Do you think? I think so. Yeah. I don't really see the similarities, to be honest. No, I can see a few. I just think uh, rublev for me is just a lot better player all round than him. Uh, Buster's got a little bit more versatility in terms of he can come to the net and sort of cause a little bit more damage. Better on across all the surfaces as well, can play on clay. But generally, I think Rublev is a lot better than him in everything, every other department. Yeah, especially the serve right, right now. The serve's looking ridiculous. Oh, Rafa serving now. 3-3 three, three, as we're level pegging, moving through this first lacklustre set so far. Yeah, that's a good word, mate. That's exactly what I how would I, how I would describe it. Lackluster. So I didn't see the lamb giving me some props for my imitation. Thanks there. <laughs> oh, oh, good shot there from Buster down the line. Yeah, flash of brilliance. Might have heard me. If anything, Buster's probably played better than Rafa so far this match. Yeah, quite possible. Yeah, he's hit some, taking off my probably... Rafa goggles. I thought he's been. Relatively um, steady. <laughs> Rafogles. <laughs> no, he's played well. I think he's hit some good winners. I don't think it's not. There's nothing in this match at the moment. You just wonder: is there another level Ooh. Rafa's got? Is that the catch the back of the line. I think it was nah, just long. long. Not a bad attempt, though. Yeah, I think he's well. He's going to have to start trying to push Rafa around. The only problem that happens when you start trying to push Rafa around is it starts firing him up more and he st it starts coming back even faster so I don't know if it's a good thing when you start doing that to Rafa well he looking might... through the head to head the only time Buster's <laughs> taken a set off him was in 2016 in Doha he won the first set in the tie break 7-5 and then he went on to lose 6-1 6-2 I believe so it fired Nadal up after losing the first set and then the rest was history yeah exactly I thought like that would be a repeat of today, maybe, if Buster wins the first set. Oh, that's a great shot. See, that's a great one. He needs to be hitting it. And there you go. Good winner there. Good return, followed by a good winner. Kalenio Busta. Is this his chance to maybe uh, get in, get a couple of break points here? Well, yeah, I think this sure. is a, an ideal opportunity. If Rafa's playing like this, I think you've got to take your chances. Rafa's not I, playing. I agree. Time, this is the yeah. time. Rafa's not impressive at all. So, Buster, step it up. Keep playing the way you're playing. A little bit more consistency. A bit more aggression. And I think um, a break oh. is, is there for the taking. Great serve. The smash. Good smash. Oh, brilliant return. He did well <laughs> to get that back, to be fair to him. Mello's asking, is the Rafa goggles like beer goggles? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. I took the, I took the same amount of sense with both goggles on. <laughs> when, once he has the beer goggles on and the Rafa goggles on together, that's when it all gets even more to <laughs> it gets too crazy. I'm blind. So here we go, thirty all. Second Big serve. point. Big point. Here you go. He's dripping with sweat at the moment. God, look at him. He can't even bounce the ball. He's having to wipe it all off. Maybe they've got a problem with that ventilation again. Medvedev was complaining about earlier. Oh, what a winner from Buster down the line. Yeah, Best another break point. Match. Best shot of the match so far, that. Yeah. He really attacked that second serve and hit right in the corner. Right in the corner. Amazing. Yeah, brilliant. Well, don't forget. If didn't even put much power in it, just literally directed it. Be interested to see uh, if Carreño Busta was to win Paris Masters, what that would do with the rankings. Oh, Rafa, he's into the net, and we have a break of serve. And the Rafa goggles are well and truly off at the moment. They're hey, uh, shell shot. <laughs> yeah, what happened? I think Buster just turned it on there for about two or three points straight. 
And, no, he's uh, been the better player. He's been the better player. He deserves the break. You have to be honest. Rafa's yeah, yeah, just not sure. turned up. We've been keep saying the same thing, but it's true. I'm not sure what he's playing at. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm uh, Rasta now. Chance to go 5-3, but it's not a break. Unless you consolidate. We all know that. Yeah, I just want to say why well, we've got 90 people here. If you're new to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. Join us. We'll be doing the Zverev match after this. And then, of course, tomorrow we've got all the semi-final and then the following day, the final action. We're doing live watch-alongs for all of them. Yes. So uh, the best way to find us is be to be subscribed. Uh, also, like the videos too. And that'll be... Um, yeah, and yeah. we'll continue to keep doing them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thanks, everybody, who's joined us for this one. Uh, if you haven't joined the uh, Tennis League yet, that we do the Tennis Predictions League, uh, we've got 57 people in there at the moment playing the Paris Masters with us. And uh, I'm down in about 13th, I think, or 16th now at the moment. I'm hoping that Zverev gets a victory for me later on. So that's going to help my bracket. I know that JG had Medvedev win today. That was good for him. But yeah, join the league. It's free. And uh, yeah, you can have some bragging rights over everybody else here in the uh, in the chat. But here we go. Krenio Buster, can he consolidate? This is a big consolidation. We know Rafa's stats. When he gets broken, there's a good chance he breaks back straight away. I remember you showed me that them statistics. It's quite surprising. Yeah. I think a lot of them were on clay court. So that's, so on Roland, that's, that's a Roland Garros. Yeah. Yeah. That was his role on Garros stat. <laughs> and there we go. That backhand cross court's working wonders for Carino Busta right now. Oh, inside out forehand. Rafa gets it back. He's forcing it onto Rafa's forehand a lot. Now he's onto the backhand. Now inside out forehand. Rafa digging this out somehow. He's into the net, Buster. Great volley. Oh, what a shot. For me, that is the shot of the match. Great he just rally. got one better. Um, fair play to him. He is really playing well. And what a year Buster's having. Obviously, brilliant run in the US Open. Unlucky not to reach the final with that um, two sets up in Sverev in the semis. Then followed up with a really impressive French Open. Played all right in the Masters as well. And now he's doing it again in Paris. So he's yeah, had a brilliant yeah. last couple of months. Yes, he has. He's been one of the surprise packages of 2020 great serve there uh obviously you've seen how well he played against novak djokovic in the times that he's played him and uh he obviously was about to take the first set when uh djokovic hit the line judge in the throat and then he actually did take the first set against him when they played again in the next next time they played yeah. uh was that in was that the french open or was that no i forget I it was which... french open yeah french open quarterfinals okay. And then uh, Djokovic come through and ended up smashing it. Yeah, I was forgetting. Uh, yeah, because people were saying that did he let him win the first set? <laughs> just, <laughs> no, there was people saying did Djokovic let Buster win the first set just to prove <laughs> the fact that in the US Open, if he would have lost that first set and continued playing and not hit the lady in the throat, then would Djokovic have still come back and won? It's ridiculous. And the answer <laughs> is yes. <laughs> And there you go. Game, Game to love. love. Cheers. I think I'm going to grab a beer in a minute. Nice one. I'm going to wait for Rafa just to warm up a little bit. And then I'll grab one. Okay. Well, I do, think you think this, five... do you think his first set's done? I think it's business end now for Rafa because he needs to hold serve. What do you think? 100%, mate. Yes, it is indeed. We're into the business end of the set. And Rafa Nadal has to hold his serve if he wants to stay in this first set. Can he do it? Good serve down the middle. Good return. Oh, Buster's gone for it. It's just wide. Hmm, interesting, that. That's all tactical, mate. He's think? going aggressive. Yeah, he's, he's definitely... This is a tactic of his. I think he's going to play this service uh, game very aggressive from the Nadal. Mm, here we go. Oh, what's happened? Dropped the ball. No, there's something on the court. Just picked that up. Got rid of it. Now he's ready to go again. 
I'm getting bullied in the chat as well. <laughs> oh, good serve into the net there. Melez, Jaron should drown his uh, sorrows post haste. What's that mean? Post haste. Post haste. Yeah. What's that mean? <laughs> JG literally squirming in his chair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, as should be 95% of the people in the predictions league because most people have Rafa on the doubt to win the tournament. Apart from me. No, a lot of people don't have him. I had Sitapas who went out ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, but obviously I know tennis. He had Bashvili to win it, I think. <laughs> yeah, true. Kevin Anderson, I think. Big Kev. Oh, yeah, Bashvili was in the final against him. Yeah, yeah, that was the, the classic final. Bashvili's not there what I'm saying about here. Yeah. Another game to love there as we were speaking. Nice. Cheers, mate. And now it's all back on to Carreño Busta. Yeah, Gerald there is complaining about your scoreboard, Ben. Says it's too small for him. Too small? The font, <laughs> I, not much we can do about the font size, mate. I'm sorry. Can I increase the size of it, do you think? I don't know, or is it going to completely it. mess it up? It probably will mess it up. I don't know. You need to I go one know. less. Go one less. One less? Yeah, then yeah, that's better. I would say. Is that, is that all right? What, what would you guys say? Is that better? We can't see the time. We got a little bit bigger for you, Gerald. But yeah, uh, it was pretty crazy. The Colonial Buster was there a consolidation somewhere that I missed? I must think there must have been. Yeah, there was, mate. <laughs> I, got, I got too caught up with it being the business <laughs> end. I wanted the business end rather than the consolidation. Well, yeah, the we business end one was a consolidation, but we've missed it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We would have and, two uh, this is the big one now. Obviously, Corona Buster to serve it out. Can he serve it out for the first set? Or will Rafa exactly. have something to say about it? I was going to say, I had a good pun for uh, Rafa. Well, uh, well, I was going to say, Kalenia Buster might be how, able to have some of Rafa's consolidates that is sat on his table there. <laughs> Never mind. It was uh, the time's gone now, isn't it? <laughs> Another dad joke. Yeah, I know. I, I missed the uh, timing. <sighs> Terrible. Here we go. So here we Can go. He Serving four, the first set. It's never easy against Rafael Nadal. Oh, great first serve, though. It's long. The return. Well, I want to predict a bust the first set. I don't think so. We didn't have anyone. Everyone was saying 2 0 Rafa, 2 0 Rafa. Well, we looked at their last meeting 6 1 6 1. <laughs> God, oh, really good first yeah. And he's pushing Rafa around the back of the court here. Oh, he's overcooked that one. And there's a... It's burnt. So That's one of them shots, yeah, what's going to come back to bite you, I reckon. So Mello's asking, so if we are having a, a consolidation, then the business end starts after seven games, no? Uh, I think normally... it was a bit premature with the business end. I think that was a consolidation moment. And no, then I business get... end probably now. I get too excited with the business end button because it's new. <laughs> I know you, you're going to have to bear with me. I'm sure it, uh, the novelty will wear off for me with the business end. All right, here we go. Buster serving 15 all. Good return from Rafa. Oh, he, Buster into the net. Oh, here he goes. Here comes Rafa. And uh, Mohammed. Uh, the match is on Amazon Prime, Tennis TV, or any gambling account. Here we go. Colonia Busta looking where he needs to this he needs to get this serve in. Needs a, a, a strong service game here. Can't falter against the also dangerous. Rafa Nadal, great rally here though from Buster. Did well there. Pulled him around. Yeah, they were going forehand. Huge Rafa's, moment as well. Rafa's forehand to Colenio Buster's backhand. The two strongest weapons on the court right now are going head to head, and Buster came on top there. 
Rafa and looking mate, concerned. This is the real business end now. This next point, I think, dictates the first set. Quite possibly. Uh, and yes, I mean, uh, Schwartzman can make it. He actually goes to London oh. if uh, Colenio Buster loses. Buster wins it, 40 30. There you go. Uh, Schwartzman's already in. Well, if Colenio Buster loses tonight, Schwartzman's definitely in. Are you 100% sure with that? Yeah, that's what they were telling me earlier. No, because I, I saw that Buster needs to win Paris and Sofia. Yeah, he will go straight to Sofia after. But he's not going to enter Sofia. He will if he gives a chance to go to London, for sure. Mm -hmm. I doubt it. Oh, look, it's crept over from Rafa, that return. It goes down the line. Good volley from Buster. Rafa's into the net. He's played it down the line. Buster, big winner. Oh, and good shot. It. And it's the set. Well played, Buster. Fully wow, what a it. way to win that set as well. That was an incredible like, hit. Cross Mate, court. Rafa needs to go back to his dates because something's not working out for him. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what's happened. He's not. He's looking a bit sluggish, and that forehand's not really going, is it? I mean, yeah, not too positive. But we look some of the first uh, first set statistics. Only one uh, one ace a piece there. Look at well, the. Look at this. Statistics are very uh, similar, to be fair. Looking at the winners, Nadal 10, Buster 12. Unforced errors, Nadal 9, Buster 10. Yep. So nothing really between them there. Net points 1, Nadal 1, 5 out of 7. Buster 3 out of 4. Yep. Service points 1, Nadal 21 out of 31. Buster 20 out of 25. Yeah, they've looked at then... the top spin rate, obviously. This is where you'd expect Nadal to be super high. However, on the forehand, Buster's very close. 49 RPS compared to 53 of Rafa Nadal. Not much in it at all. No. And very similar on the backhand too. Yeah, I think that And there's only been five rallies over nine shots and uh, Buster's won four of them. So that's uh, ominous for Rafa Nadal if he can't stay in the long rallies because that's yeah. normally his bread and butter. And well done to Emma, obviously. Uh, she wants Buster to win. And Buster's currently is winning. I know she also predicted uh, Stan yesterday. So yeah, I think so, she's trying to hold uh, Rafa Nadal today. Interesting to see the big thing that jumps off the page. There is the second service points one and uh, eighty percent for uh, Colonia Busta, fifty five percent for Rafa Nadal. There, yeah, that's pretty big statistic. You're winning that many. There's a consistent 80% win winning on uh, both serves. So that's really good. God, that final point was epic. He's yeah, kind of he behind really, him, sort of smashed it out of him. He really attacked it, didn't he? Yeah, and it's probably a good opportunity to go through our top tippers of the month. I don't know if you can read the top one, but I'm pretty sure it's Chris Meir. He's number one for the month of November. We've yeah. got Thomas Rock in number two. Just Me, number three. Wild Live. Has just pushed yeah. into number four, beating Melis <laughs> on the last podcast <laughs> by one cent. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, a very tactical. It was a tactical donation just to get him above on the leaderboard. It was very good. But what do you reckon we're going to see in the second set? More of the same, or is the real Rafa going to like grace us with his presence? Not a clue, mate. I reckon. It's hard to say. My heart's saying 6 1 Rafa. I think Rafa's going to just turn him over. Now. <laughs> Take those but, Rafa um, goggles off. We've seen this a lot, though, where this will happen, then Rafa will just turn up. It's probably angered him quite a bit losing that first set and not turning up with the way he did. So we yeah, could but... see a complete different Rafa. Obviously, uh, yesterday, Rublev managed to beat Stan 6 1 in the first set and look what happened there. So it's not always uh, the best thing to win the first set against these top players. Well, yeah, exactly. You don't want Sometimes to anger Rafa. Just them up. Well, exactly, and especially when he's got another gear to go into. He's got another gear, and uh, he's sprinting back onto the court. It's uh, an ominous sign for Kareem Buster. He's just... Yeah, look at Buster. He's looking up. Oh, God. Yeah, he's like, oh, no. What have I done? Then. <laughs> he's thinking, oh, no. Here comes Rafa with his matching uh, mask to go with his outfit there. It's very good. And... What's he thinking? He's gone back out on court already. He's not even waiting for Rafa, saying, I'm going out, I'm showing I'm fresh. Oh, 
So, what do you reckon, everybody? Let us know in the comments. Who, who do you think is going to win this second set? Do you think it's going to be over in two for Carreño Buster? Or do you think Rafael Nadal is coming back to put this into a third? It's going to be super interesting, this set. Interested to see which Rafa turns up. Premier Series Nadal. Oh. Yeah, Smith Jane there saying Rafa. That's it. So I'm assuming he's going for Rafa. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Let's see what he's made of. I'm going for Boy. six one. There's part of me that could see this all unraveling very, very quickly, which is really uh I I'm not even a big Buster fan, but he played really well in that first set and the what he's the better player so far in this match. Yeah. Is that a double fault? If uh, so, it's not let, a good start. Let second service. Lid second service. There we go. Oh. No. Long. Oh. Yeah. Is it too late to change my prediction? <laughs> yeah, love 15. <laughs> Rafa's forehand still misfiring, and that's never a good sign. Come on. We want to see some uh, top-class tennis. Well, I'm we know... there saying, I hope uh, Buster gives uh, Rafa a good drubbing. Buster deserves <laughs> it. He's played quality tennis of late. You can't, yeah. can't deny it. He really has been the man in form. Been doing so well in the big tournaments as well. He's not been doing it in the smaller ATP 250s or 500s. He's been doing it at the Grand Slams, at the Masters 500. 1,000, sorry. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And is he overdue a win over Rafael Nadal? He's in his best form of his career. Maybe now's the time. And well, the... Right now, I love 30. As you're saying and... that, it's not looking too good for Rafa. On his least favourite surface for Rafael Nadal, indoor hard court, this is probably the best opportunity to beat Rafael Nadal. Yeah. So uh, Jens there saying, if Rafa loses tonight, who becomes the favourite to win Paris? Medvedev. Yeah, I'd say it's probably Medvedev. Or, or Zverev. But Medvedev's yeah. already in the semis, so it just depends on whether Zverev gets through. But I'd still say Medvedev will be the favourite. Oh, great play oh, from Buster. Look at that. Love 40. Set up three break points early on. Wow. <laughs> this is, he's turned it up and it's him who has the next level to go up, not Rafa. What's happening here? I echo, echo exactly what Gerald's saying. Rafa has been disappointing today, just not turned up so far. Very reminiscent of him against Thompson, but he managed to get it done against Thompson. Today, he's not yeah. been able to. This is a step up, though. Colonio Buster is one step above uh, Jordan Thompson. Can he stay in this uh, service game? He's got one point back. I mean, Carino Buster cannot afford to let this slide this game. Have a love 40 on a Rafa serve. That's uh, unheard of. This this could at least give him a like, platform to uh, get to this well, match. Get this match won. Yeah. Great serve from Rafa. Oh, and it's a long return. Pretty crazy. He's just saved two of them. He's got one more. Gets to have a another look at the Rafa serve. He's probably crying out for a second serve. He keeps doing this very, <laughs> very interesting look at the camera every time. I think that the camera is very strangely positioned. Oh, it's a good return this time. And it's into the net, though. Good length oh, from Rafa. When he's got himself out of it there. Very you know, deep return. They were commenting on this in the... Uh, oh, God. World War Three going off here now. Uh, <laughs> they were commenting on uh, the position of the camera in the Raonic Umber match. Apparently, on that side where Carolina Buster is at the moment, it's like in the, uh, in the advantage side, it's in the eye line, apparently, of the player uh -huh. when they're looking there. And a I think a lot of the players, you notice them look at the camera when they're okay. there, like receiving serves. So it must be a distraction. A bit off they, said they, yeah. they said normally they don't have it inside the court. They normally have it outside, but this one's inside the court, which is a bit strange. 
But I don't know. Maybe that's a distraction. But I just thought it's weird. Colonial Buster keeps looking at the camera. Oh, he's got that one back in. Rafa's no. doing well to be on advantage right now. Going forehand to Rafa's backhand cross court. It's down the line. Now he's gone inside out forehand to Rafa's forehand. Backhand long and a great hold from Rafa Nadal. King he Rafa, he does it again. Wow. Love 40 that... down, holds. And is that where the momentum's going to shift? Is that what you need? Maybe. Something like that? Yeah. Yes, he did. That Just to spark definitely... him into life. Yeah. Maybe he needs a date. <laughs> Just, for... <laughs> Just have one. He's got a wife, Ben. Oh, yeah, true. Maybe not. <laughs> See, he's not sitting down at this changeover. He's going to stand oh, live there. He was calling for the break to love. Not to be, mate. No. Nope. Five in a row. Rafa had other ideas. That's it. Five alive. Rafa's alive in this in this second set now. And Karenio Buster, will that go into his head? Will he be thinking, oh, no, I just missed three break points. Can I even get that opportunity again in this set. That was it's so rare against Rafa to get yeah. love 40. Is that going to affect his service game now? Is it still well, going he, around his head? As well, remember. He's got a nice it's, little cushion. Yeah. Oh, that looked so close to being out there. That one is out. Yeah. I think the other one was out as well, mate. I'm not looked sure. Close. I Might have clipped the back edge, but... but and that's out. six points in a row. I'm going to start counting, mate, because I feel like we could be seeing a few. Yeah, I mean, thanks, everybody, who's joined us on the uh, live stream as well, watching. We've got 105 people in. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date. Hit the bell as well, and it'll notify you on all of our upcoming watch-alongs that we've got coming up and all the podcasts. So, And if you haven't liked the video yet, hit the like button. Here we go. Raf on a Dow go getting ahead, into the serve now. Seven, Seven in a row. Seven in a row. Mary Sky asking, sorry she's late. Uh, how's it going? Well, <laughs> not too good if you're a Rafa fan. However, he's sort of clawing it back now. He just won the last well, seven points in a row. Here we go. Could we see our first break of serve We've of the second set? Could we see our break. first break point for Rafa? Oh, he came in well there. Yeah, Buster. well played, Buster. Good approach play, good net play. That's what we like to see. I don't like it because Raonic was doing it earlier. He was coming into the net on the worst approaches. He just That was a good idea. That was really well played. Coming at the right time. Exactly. He hit it That's into the corner with shot. power. Into yeah. the corner with power, then come in. Raonic was slicing it into the hitting zone, then coming in. And surprisingly, he was getting passed or having shots fired right at him where he couldn't return it. Oh, great play by Buster. Yeah, really well played. Brilliant serve as well. Serve out wide and then back behind Rafael Nadal. Okay, yo, is Nadal going to get a break point? He's not had a sniff of one yet. No. Yeah, Buster's been pre pretty uh, solid on that serve. In the had first 50, 53 minutes played, and we're uh, into the second set. I've had one game played. Nadal held that one. Oh, oh he's hit it the same. Ah. Oh. A Rafa on uh, another day would have got hey, it in the hey, court. Djokovic, how many times did you see them ones firing yeah. past him in the final? No, and that one just fired further into the crowd or where the crowd would be. 40-30, Colenio Buster serving just to level up this second set. Rafa needs to try and pull something out here to prevent this. Good serve down the tee. Rafa, good return. Oh, he's wild. From uh, Colonia Busta. Yeah. Went inside out forehand, but from like the center of the court. It was almost as if he thought he was stood right on the other tram line. Yeah, terrible. Juice. And he's a little window of opportunity here for Rafael Nadal. Hey, it's the cl closest uh, Nadal's been to breaking so far. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Missed the first serve. So Rafa gets a second serve to get his teeth into. Very interesting. Oh, it was close to being out, but the oh, but yeah, it wasn't. It hit the line. Man. It was a very, very close serve, that one. It just literally hit the service line, right the back edge of it. And then Rafa wasn't expecting it to be that long, I don't think, or that deep. No. 
Here we go. What stage is Rafa going to turn up, though, and start playing his tennis, which we know he can do? Well, he hasn't got too much longer left if he's thinking that he can just put it out later in this match. So there you go. And that's a poor return. And one game all. Bust into, the hole. The, into the net. Uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. He had the opportunity. He had Love 30 there on Colonial Buster's serve. But there you go. Exactly what Wildlife uh, is saying. Uh, it's amazing how quickly the tide can turn. But yeah, he he went Love 30. Then he pulled it all the way back again. Yeah. But it's that's what I mean. Tennis, a game of fine margins. The thing is, so I do feel like one break from the Dow in this second set, and we're going to be seeing the third. He's serving right now, though, and he hasn't been serving very well. He had three; he had to face three break points on his last service game. Now, second serve starts off here. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, it's landed in. Great finish from Nadal. Was very well I really didn't anticipate watching a match like this today. No, I know. I don't know if it's good or bad. I guess it is because it's um, surprising. Just a bit disappointed, really, with Rafa. Just not turned up whatsoever. No, it's a little bit shocking. There's still plenty to go, though, mate. Well, maybe. <laughs> hey, if you look at the bookies still... right now, I'm sure Rafael Nadal was a clear, clear favourite. Uh... Oh, brilliant He's shot only... there, Buster, down the line. He's brilliant. only just a favourite at the moment. It's pretty even on the bookies. Mm. I think you can get Buster at evens. Well, great winner down the line from Buster there. Oh, it's a great technique. Yeah. Buster's been playing so good recently. That's the thing. Yeah. This is a small little window. Oh, another let for Rafa. He's had a lot of them. Yeah, he just can't seem to clear the net when he serves. Do you reckon he's going to have a word to say after this match? Maybe he didn't request the dates. He wanted bananas. To put him <laughs> throwing him <laughs> off his match completely. <laughs> Mate, it feels a bit flat for me. Oh, Rafa with the smash. He's so good at the smash, Rafa. Yeah. He's one of the best in the game. Yeah, agreed. I think he is the best. Got Michael Walker in. No match is easy. PCB is great on hard courts. He definitely is. We've seen it many times already this year. Yeah, it's just so bizarre that Kyrgios has called him out as a clay court merchant. Don't know what no. he's doing. Kyrgios he's literally is an... the opposite of that, so it's just bizarre. Kyrgios is a no-court merchant at the moment. When did he last play? He'll is be he's... back, mate. Australian Open. Yeah, I'm sure. Rommel there saying, oh. the last two games are red flags for Rafa. Shows how he least likes this surface. Definitely. I think that... Mate, it's his worst to... surface for sure. He's how many? They said he's only played 80 matches in indoor hard, hasn't he, in his whole career, I think. Yeah. That's how crazy it is. So there you go. A good winner from Cranio Buster. And now he's going to be trying to get this to juice. But no, a great ace. Boom. He needs that. Got out of that one. I can breathe. Knowing we seem to be a little bit behind the scoreboard on the R stream. But never mind. <laughs> Only like a few seconds. There's enough for it to already go past before... Uh, Right, we, can't have him, we can't have him every time. They can't. But there you go. Rafa holds. Very important hold. And Karenio Buster's turn to squirm. And can he hold his serve? I didn't, well, he looked more confident than Rafa Nadal on his serve in this match so far. I wouldn't put it past him to have another comfortable hold here. 
Yeah, and in but, this break, I think I'm going to grab a beer. All right. But I just get the feeling that at some point in this match, Rafael Nadal, that pressure for Carreño Buster is going to suddenly set in and he's suddenly going to realize he's close to beating Rafael Nadal and then we might start to see the errors start to come from the racket. He's never beaten him, so now might be the first time that might be enough to put him off actually uh, completing the job. I think that that's a fair point in this match. He's never been in the position where he's going to be beating him before. And uh, Fennel, uh, live stream, uh, you can see it on any uh, of the gambling sites for free if you sign up to one of those or uh, if you have Amazon Prime or if you have Tennis TV. <laughs> Alexander's saying, I put $1,000 on the dial. Bad move? Uh Mate, you never like know. In the, you never know. I mean, if you put it on just now, you probably no, it was got a bad pretty good move, odds. Regardless of the odds, <laughs> mate, if you did it before the match, you wouldn't have got much. Probably returned yeah. like one, probably what hundred hundred dollars from that. Yeah, I think so. It was pretty poor the odds before the match. I'm surprised, really. It was so low. Yeah, Melez, I'm, that's right. I'm going to cry into my beer. That's it. And uh, Hader asking a question to uh, to us. What is a bigger blip on a, gl a glittering CV? Federer and Djokovic not having won gold in singles on a Dow, never winning the ATP finals. Yeah, it's a very good question. Leave yeah. it there. That's one of the best questions like, we've had. Yeah, I really uh, like that question. A great winner I'm there. I'm going to have to think about it before I answer. Obviously, he's referring to the Olympics, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. Like for winning sure. gold. Uh, Andy Murray won gold, didn't he? Did he not? Nice. Yeah. So. Um, Federer never won gold, though, did he? So, yeah. So, Federer or Djokovic not having won gold in singles on Nadal, having never won the ATP finals. Well, it's one of those ones, isn't it? It's a, it's very subjective. What means more to you? Because Andy Murray said, actually, the proudest time of his whole career was leading the uh, GB team at the Olympics out yeah. around the stadium. And For me, the what... ATP, uh, the ATP uh, finals has become bigger every year. But when it yeah. first started, it was never that big, in my opinion. So based oh. off that, I think the bigger blip is not winning an uh, Olympic medal. I think an Olympic medal is just so special. It's something you can hold for the rest of your life in any discipline. It just shows you are the greatest, really, in that discipline in the world. Yeah. So for me, it's just like a very special, unique thing that can be compared to other sports. So for, on that basis, I put a lot of pride in the, in the Olympics and the fact yeah, that you're representing I mean... your nation. Yeah, I think yeah. it, it holds a lot of importance. I think it definitely does. And it means that not only are you seen by tennis fans, you're seen by all the fans of yeah. the Olympics around the world. You're seen by billions of people. Whereas tennis is a popular sport, the Olympics is even more popular. So you're you're literally winning on the biggest stage in sports. Wait, what is the latest too. with the Olympics? Are we going to be seeing it next year? Next year it's delayed to at the moment. But same with the Euros for the football as well, also delayed till next year. Yeah, and then obviously the following year you'll have the World Cup. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. How crazy is that? You have the Euros in. and the World Cup. What are they going to do? And then the French Open will probably move theirs again and then stick another <laughs> one. We're going to have the French Open in May and then they're going to put the next year's French Open in September again. <laughs> have two French Opens next year just for Rafa oh look at that he's opened the anyway. court yeah I'm sure in fact we're going to have four French Opens in one year just before Rafa retires well Wildlife he disagrees he would say the ATP Finals because there's an opportunity to win it every year. Therefore, not winning it means you've fa fallen short many times. You might only have three or four shots at an Olympic gold. It's a good point. That is a very good point, yeah. Well uh, well spotted. Yeah, I think uh, it's very true. If you've not managed to win the uh, ATP finals, what's the reasoning behind that? But you've got to also remember that you're playing on one particular surface as well normally. Yeah. And that's why they said if the ATP finals was on clay, Rafa would probably have about 10 of them by now. But it's not. It's on yeah. indoor hard court most yeah, of the time. Yeah, why have they determined that that's why that, that it's always indoor exactly. hard court? 
And why is there no Masters on grass? Yeah, that just baffles me. There should be a, a, a Masters on grass in, in London or some of some kind. Yeah. Why, or Germany why or something. Why don't they make Queen's Club a Masters tournament? Is it not? It's not really big enough stadiums and stuff, but... Yeah, it's bizarre, can... though. You've obviously got Masters in um, on all the different surfaces, predominantly hard courts, but to not have one grass, Masters, I think that's just a farce, mate. Mate, we're British. We love the grass. Uh, and hey, uh, thanks. We've got David Ferrer there in the crowd. Yeah, I know. He's, he's always looking a little bit... Uh, what's going on? Thanks to Hader, uh, loving the podcast. Appreciate that. Keep on following. Share it with anybody else that you know who loves tennis as well. We know that the tennis fans can it'll be a little bit like uh, nomads. There's just like singular tennis fans floating around the world because a lot of people who like tennis, there's a lot of their friends don't like tennis. And that's what brings yeah. us all together on like, platforms like this so that we can all enjoy it together. Yeah, exactly, mate. None of my friends even like tennis. <laughs> exactly. So, um, I think I'm the first one. Nice isn't to it? meet you. Yeah, it was nice to meet you at work, <laughs> mate. We got started talking about tennis, and then the podcast was born. It was indeed. The paths collide for a reason. Look at that ace for Rafa, and managing to hold his serve more convincingly this time, and it's nice to see. And uh, <laughs> travel twenty one saying. Kyle Edmund doesn't like the grass. Clay's his favourite surface. Well, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Is that real? I don't think so. <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> Maybe he likes the clay. What's the <laughs> Thomas Rowley's made it into the chat? Are we getting a one night in Paris <laughs> song after this tournament? <laughs> Mate, possibly. I think the fans are calling him for one, Ben. You better get working on a Paris song. Obviously, the one with Vienna was a bit of a hit. Yeah, talking yeah. about Rob Lev to win. The question is, who's going to be the main player you'll be discussing on the Paris song? But that's the that's the thing, isn't it? Which we don't even know. Don't look like he's going to be Rafa right now. One night in Paris. <laughs> wasn't that wasn't that Paris Hilton's fil film? Wasn't it? <laughs> it was. That was her, that was the name of her sex tape. All oh, right, yeah. <laughs> I know how she made it famous. Rafa there. Still refusing to touch those dates. Uh, they're on that side table. I'm not sure. No, it's one there, actually. He's got one sat out there next to him. <laughs> What's that? Out. <laughs> it's just sat on the side, though. Is that Even clean, a bit that table? Is, that, is it clean, that table? <laughs> That's a bit, of a, a bit of a COVID risk, isn't it? Having a date out like that, a loose date. It's interesting to see the uh, statistics there from the shop placement. Krenia Buster, 60% of the time he's getting it uh close to the baseline on his uh, returns, which is amazing. I mean, that's why he's doing so well. He's keeping Rafa at bay at the baseline. And uh, well, Din, Van... I just want to quickly say, Din Van Hoon, before you yeah. go on to that one, he was oh, yeah, saying, because there's not enough time to gather all the players for a Masters 1000 on grass. There's an interesting article on Quora. You should, guys, oh, nice. you should check it out. Yeah, send us the link. Yeah, yeah send we'll it definitely... to our um, Twitter or Instagram. We'll, have, we'll check that out for sure. For sure. Um, because we've always been a bit perplexed, really, as to why there's no Masters on grass. We think it'd be a really great addition to the to the calendar. <laughs> Wild live. How do I know about the uh, Paris Hilton tape? Wow. I was filming it. No, I wasn't really. <laughs> it was an extra. <laughs> yeah, I was there. I was there. I was in the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no worries, uh, Ding Van Hoon. We're glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, the only, thing, the only thing we ask from you guys is just like the video, help us out, and we'll keep doing them. And also subscribe as well. If, you, if you're new to the yeah, channel, hit the subscribe on. button. And uh, cool yeah, if we if can you, get to 3,000 by the end of the year. It would be amazing if we could get 100 likes on this video. That's what I would really love from one of these live watchers. We've got 131 people in this uh, video right now. Please, everybody, like the video. It's really going to help us out. But, yeah, here we go. Yeah. 40 love. I'll get on the other hand, mate. What's a one-on-one? -on -one? Me versus you. Mate, it's going to happen. Hopefully that's tennis. Because if it's boxing, <laughs> I don't give you much of a chance. Mate, yeah, I don't I don't, I don't. think either of us is going to be uh, doing very well. We have to go into an intensive trade. It'd be the worst thing. It'd be like some <laughs> playground. Uh, yeah, boxing, boxing fight would be like Logan Paul KSI. 
<laughs> it was. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, no, there's no need to be seeing anything like that. Interesting to see the average forehand uh, topspin speed. Krenia Buster is actually 15 kilometers an hour uh, more than Nadal. That's Buster. pretty crazy. 132 kilometers an hour yeah. for Buster, 117 for Nadal. Oh, and there yeah. you go. Great hey, serve. Buster's been playing so well this match. I think it'll be a really hard done by if, um, if Rafa was the break here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Look at that. Three games all. And this is the exact same situation as the first set. And remember, this was the time when Carreño Buster uh, broke his serve in the first yeah. set. And then I prematurely pressed the business end button. <laughs> <laughs> for forgetting about his consolidation. <laughs> so <laughs> let's I'll, I'll try to remember this time. If it happens again, it might not. Hey, it might be Rafa. Out, listen, out of the two matches we've done today, obviously Medvedev Schwartzman earlier. Oh, you'd have anticipated shame. this one to have been a lot quicker than that one. Yeah, it's bizarre, really, how tennis works. You thought that was going to be a long one, like a three hour match, ended up yeah. being just over an hour. And this yeah, one yeah. looks like it could potentially be a three hour match. <laughs> If Nadal turns up anytime soon. Yeah, exactly. Amrit's asking, what are your views on Yannick Sinner? Well, wow. Do you see him coming at the top in the upcoming time? Yes. Uh, in a, just to be short about it, uh, I think that he's probably, if not the brightest, one of the brightest you know, young talents on the tour. And I think that out of... All of those uh, young players, we saw in the French Open how well he even played against Rafael Nadal. We saw yeah. no one could really... He plays with so much confidence. But for me, yeah. he's not the best ginger. There's two prominent <laughs> gingers on tour. And I think Rublev right now is the slightly better Bit ginger older, out of the two. Bit older, though. True. He's got three years on him. So, Sinner in three years, I think he might be even better than Rublev is now. Yeah, potentially. Margaret wants so, a one-on-one -on, -one on a clay court. Well, last time we played each other, I can confirm that what uh, was the score? He, he loves going on about it. Uh, <laughs> we only played each other once. 7-5 to uh, JG. We only got was one set in. Was you not leading? I, was, I, I think I was I was leading 5-2, but I'm, bear in mind, I hadn't done the exercise for about a year before playing this <laughs> He match. forgot his dates, that's why. I know. He was 5-2 uh, up, serving for the, serving for the match. We don't need to no. do one set, quick fire. We didn't have much time after work. I was dying. And yeah, bottled it. I was Seven dying. five ended up losing. The fitness, the fitness that was what did me in. You started playing a bit better, but my Wait, fitness. I'll be went. honest, yeah. If we played now, obviously we can't because of lockdown, but after a lockdown, I wouldn't mate, give you a chance. I think mate, I'll blitz you. I haven't played since since then. And you've no, been playing you like played. Played. you have played. You've played yeah. with Tommy Tommy Cole. Mate, I played against mate, Tommy uh, Tommy. I played against Tommy Cool in when was it? When was when was it? About April? No, it was about two months. I'd say about two months ago. It was in, no, it was in the thick of the sun. I was about to play in thirty-seven degree heat with uh, <laughs> yeah, Tommy Cool, but came out <laughs> victorious in that match. Luckily, but that's enough about uh, the terrible standard of tennis that. Uh, I would be bringing to the table. Rafael Nadal has had a game to love. We completely missed it while we were just well, chatting, cheers, man. chatting gibberish about Emma saying now slowly starting to look better. And I feel everything Emma says comes true. Yeah, Emma, are you one of these mystical uh, forces within the tennis world? All of the people are going to be placing their bets based upon what Emma says, I think. Yeah, she called Stan yesterday. If you hear every every watch along and you get it right every time, we're going to start getting a little suspicious. Yeah, exactly. From the future, I think Emma's traveling back in time. Yeah, Emma's already watched this match. Yeah, exactly. She's on the Tell final us who, already. Who, who wins? Come on. <laughs> Ayushman saying, if Rafa serves second serve to PCB's forehand, then he is on the back foot, surely. Well, his backhand's been looking amazing in this match, uh, PCB. So, I don't know. I, either side's dangerous tonight for uh, PCB. Oh, inside that forehand. Down the line from Rafa. Now, Rafa slice. He's drop-shotted him. He's into the net. Oh, no. That's going wide from Rafa. Yeah, terrible. Really good shot, though, from Buster. Yeah, he got around the court well, then. 
<laughs> I've got Sharuk. I missed that. Saying that uh, Ben folded at the business end. <laughs> I did. I did fold at the business end. <laughs> Mate, if we had a button, I'd have pressed it about 10 times. And then Mate. broke serve. Broke serve. <laughs> uh, I think I, I did better in the uh, in the pub afterwards, didn't I? Against that guy playing pool. <laughs> that guy challenged us challenged us to a, a pool match in the pub afterwards. And then you beat, uh, you lost to him and I beat him. Yeah, I don't get it because I beat you easy. I know. It's, it was bizarre. Maths doesn't work. Raff along there. Ooh. Being pushed Ooh. around the court. Bullied. Are we, are we going to be calling him a nickname, the bully? The bully buster? Well, Emma there saying, I know everything. So I'd like to ask you, who's winning out <laughs> of Sam with Rankos Verev later on? Ooh, are you joining us for that one as well? I'd call, uh, instead of uh, the bully buster, I'd call him the ball buster. I think he is. He's busting uh, Nadal's balls right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that serve. Yeah. Calentin. Forty love. Oh, Nadal's just not sprung into life. He's not shown the next gear at all. Good question there from uh, Maglet Ashiati. And if that's the right way of saying it, apologies if it's not. Uh, who's the favourite for the ATP finals? Well. I'm going to tell you that's... now. Dominic team. He's going to win it. Wow, that's a big shout. Andre Rublev could be... Uh, he's going to have some rest. He's going to be all killed. He's going to be ready for it. He's taken some time off. It's not he's even his Paris. ankle. He had the blister. He had a few blisters as well. They'll always Come be on. fully rested. And I think Dominic team's going to end in a massive victory in ATP well, he, London. I call me crazy. The, well, he lost in the final last year, as we know, to uh, Stefanos. So it's going to be interesting to see who makes the gets into the final. Zverev is playing really well at the moment. Maybe Zverev wins it. Maybe he gets his second ATP Tour final win. So Yeah, and we've got uh, Prem joining us from Kathmandu. Hey. Big man from Kathmandu. Like that. And Jackie, of course, Rublev to win the ATP <laughs> final. Shock. <Predictable. laughs> from that. Jagger's going to be in the comments next with Zverev. Zverev. Yeah. Good serve. Rafa. Great return. He's yeah, on the back crazy. foot. Rafa down the line. Buster staying in this. Rafa attacks the net. Great top spin. Rafa in the net. Great volley. Oh, I leave. Now we're seeing some good tennis, Ben. It's taken an hour and 17 minutes, but I think the match has just been, it's just started for me. See the rotation on that forehand, the top spin, the way he whipped it, both sides. Man, I'm getting a weird feeling. I think Rafa's going to break right here, right Are you now. Are you getting a tingling just below the waist? Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> you little creep. <laughs> Those Rafa goggles are suddenly uh, <laughs> coming on. Hey, we need a, a good point like that to sort of set this match alight. Yeah, look, Carreño Buster now. It's long yeah, and it's juice. It, He's on the ropes. He's on the ropes. I can feel He's it. Like I can this. feel it coming. He's, he's there. He doesn't know what to do. Yeah, we're getting some love from India as well. Thanks, mate. Zabir, hope thanks you're I'm glad hope you're enjoying it. Keep up the good work. Yeah, we'll cheers. continue to do it, mate. We love it. We love our tennis and we're in lockdown. So let's spread some positivity, I think. Cause I tell you what, <laughs> Rafael Nadal is one of the greatest players the world's <laughs> ever seen. If Tyson Fury won't <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Come on, Rafa. Let's and it's wide. And it's wide. We've got a break point. Here we go. Challenge it. Oh, he's challenging it. Break point. We'll see. It did, it did look close. Oh, it's a slither, but I think it's it's out. Oh, gosh, marginally. Oh. At least, is this Rafa's first break point opportunity? Or has he had one before? Uh, I think it's his first one. I think it might be his first break point opportunity. That's what I can remember. Yeah, I believe so. Rafael Nadal has taken him over an hour and a half <laughs> to have his first break point. He only needs one. He only needs one. Here we go. Ace. <laughs> Just like that. I had my finger over the break button. Oh, I'll go back to the comments. Don't slip on it. Royston there saying, good job, both of you. Thanks, man. We really appreciate Cheers. all the love. Here we go. And don't forget, like the video if you haven't already. 
Here we go. Buster serving juice. It's into the net. Rafa gets a look at a second serve. And Foysel, yeah, exactly. I can't believe it's his first breakpoint opportunity. Yeah. Will he get another one here? Out to his backhand. He's fired it. It's wide. He's got another one. Yeah, mate. It's like London bus. He's been waiting all this time for a bus to come and two's come at once. Exactly. But Jackie, yeah, I do agree. Djokovic, for me, could be the bookie's favourite to win the ATP finals. However, in his last performance mm. against uh, Sanego, mm. yeah, but he looked like he's on the beach, man. I think he's already celebrating yeah. his year-end number one. Great serve out wide again, and he's done well there, Buster. That same out serve out wide. Yep. That so two great. break points, two save break points so far. That same serve on the ad side. Nadal got it back this time, but to what? He just played it back. Uh, behind him. Great, yeah. great uh, tactics there from Karenia Buster. What can he do this time? Serve in. Juice. S slice back by Rafa. It's fairly safe return. Massive top spin from Rafa here. And down the line, Karenia Buster on the run behind Rafa. It's great play, Karenia Buster. Oh, I'm a huge Rafa fan. You've got, to, you've got to admire that. Buster's playing out of his skin. He really yeah. is a better player out two today and he's been playing epic man he's yeah. under pressure here as well and he's pulling out some remarkable shots well this could he's potentially this, like, bust this the real deal this could dictate the whole entire match this game this is bust how big the real deal. this is how big this one service game is he has to hold Great serve. It's into the Rafa forehand again. He's fired it into the Rafa backhand. Rafa goes cross court. Rafa comes into the net, but he can't make yeah. it. And he's held to it. Rafa hole. No, Buster holes for all. And that takes us into the business end. Hey. Yeah, good question there, Margaret. Who is Ben's favourite player out of the big three? This is your time, Ben. Make your mark. Uh, Tell us who you love. I don't uh, actually... I'll, why don't I'll, I'll answer for him. I don't think he does have one. I really I'm, don't. He isn't I'm sorry big, if he does. I'm a big fan of, like, uh, of all tennis. Like, this is the thing. Like, with me, I just love to see great tennis matches. I mean, when Federer came through, he was the one who sort of re revolutionized the game. And I am a massive Federer fan. Then we had those finals with... Federer Nadal at Wimbledon. And I was just blown away that someone could actually beat in uh, Federer at Wimbledon in those epic matches. And Nadal became a bit of a favourite. But I still sort of favoured Federer over Nadal at the time because of the one-handed backhand and the gliding around the court. But then Djokovic has brought this other element as well into the with his just unbelievable uh, st like bendiness, stretchiness, and just the way he just... Conducts pressure. himself. He's just yeah. so much pressure. He can be in any situation, Djokovic, and you think he's going to win. And I actually like. I think, despite the way that it gets portrayed in the media, I don't think Djokovic is a bad person. No one should look at him as if he's like a negative persona. He's actually a very, very good sportsman. He's always very complimentary to all of his opponents, and I think all of the big three are very, very black. Like, they should be yeah, commended just, that's on not the line, Djokovic. That's all. But. It's really difficult to pick between the three. I mean, I know that JG's Rafa, Rafa, Rafa. And uh, I know I give him a hard time just because I know he loves Rafa <laughs> so much. But for me, obviously, Federer was the first one around. So he's the one that I was sort of swaying towards when, and it was always the type of person that I just thought he just had that, the elegant game of tennis. And I know that that's the reason that a lot of people pick Federer is just because of the single-handed backhand and just like the single, well, obviously single-handed forehand, but just like the first man to sort of break through and do what he's done and be considered great. I just uh, think it's just... It, these two come along just afterwards, but for me, Federer he, was the one who, like, he's just like the, I don't know, you look at him as like the god of the sport. He just beat the person that was my favourite on tour. That was the thing. Pete Sampras was always my guy, and I always loved watching Pete Sampras. And when Federer came along, that was the end of Sampras. And it sort of, I don't know, I, I just switched to Federer after that. It was just a natural switch. So 
But I still, I, I'm, I'm always up for just as long as it's an epic tennis match. I don't really care who wins. Ooh, and I think this point now, Ben, is huge. 30 all. Is this an opportunity for Buster? This is the real business end. Can't press it again now, surely, can I? Oh, I will then. <laughs> it's getting o overused, this business <laughs> empire. Look, this, this weird, these eyes that Buster's always doing before these uh, serves. Have you noticed? He's a, Huge looks big like, serve there, Rafa. 40-30. Yeah. What not, a point. Needed that. Needed the strong serve. Have you seen? He looks into the camera like this, and then he just sort of goes like, like that, and just opens his eyes proper wide before each, each time he's about to serve. It's really bizarre. Well, Emma, scary. they're saying really good question. Who are the who are the next big three? Seven years or so in the future, I'm not sure if we're ever going to see a big three. As per se, I'm Might not sure we're going to have ten. a dominant like the women's tour right now. There's not really one player dominating. Mm. I think the men's could be a bit a bit similar. However, Iga Sarante does look really good. She could be maybe that figure. But I yeah. think it's a bit too early to say. Oh, a big backhand, with great forehand! Wow, two amazing shots. Come on, Rafa. Vamos. And now the pressure transfers back onto Carreño Busta. Oh, I've got Melez. I've got a lot, a, lot, here, a lot of love for this comment here. The next big three going to be Sinner, Alcaraz, Massetti. How much that. would I love that? So much. We would love that. We love Alcaraz, Massetti and Sinner. They are just... some maybe Zverev, Sita Pass and all of them guys. I think Zverev will be in there as uh, not. Uh, I think Zverev could easily be in there. Uh, you've obviously seen he got to the Slam final. I think Rublev could definitely be in there in a few years, maybe two or three years time. Yeah. But I don't think you're going to be seeing. Well, Alex de Menor as well. He's only young, remember? Possible, possible. Yeah, he Hugo definitely. Umber. Umber, yeah, definitely. I think he could be one in the picture as well. Imagine it's going to be those ones fighting it out amongst themselves. I think Massetti even, he's great on clay. I've not really seen him impress on the, any other surface yet. So, well, he lost, uh, I think, the other day. He lost to Roberto yesterday, Marcora it? yesterday, yeah. yeah. Marcora. Marcora's a really good player. He is. For me, out of all them young ones, Alcaraz is the one who impresses me the most. He's the he's my main man. Yeah, I man, feel like he's my little mini rapper. Like, he could be greatness. He really can be. Like He's so good. And he's been able to do it on any surface as well. He yeah, just yeah. looks so confident. Um, he just, just has so that old. winning mentality. I mean, how old is he? Like sixteen or seventeen? Se he just, seventeen. He acts like, you look at him on, on court; he looks like a like a a prime twenty-seven year old. He just has a winning mentality, like a champion's mentality on court. And even when he goes behind, he's never stops fighting. He's like a, like the Rafa on court. Yeah. He's he bullies the opponent sometimes. Even when he's down, he's never out ever. He can be a set. He can be a set down, a breakdown in the second, and you've got there's a chance he's going to be coming back. Oh, Lamb Shank, Carreño Buster, bah! and it <laughs> goes into the oh. stand. That ball, the ball boy, it's going to climb. Plant. It's going to climb the stands to go and find that one. And there you go, Love Fifteen. Now is this the time when Rafa finally pushes it into fourth gear? I think he needs yeah, to in third at the moment. Rafa Nadal currently three points away from pushing this to a third set. When you went to go and grab a beer, that's why I said, when it gets to the real nitty-gritty now at the end of the set, we're going to see the, what Karenio Buster's really made of because he's never beaten Rafa before. Can he hold his nerve? Oh, it's long there from Rafa. Oh, he can't give him... Just, he's not been good enough, though. He's not been very good. I hate to say it. Rafa Nadal has not played well. No, he hasn't. 15 all. He doesn't... He should. He doesn't deserve to be this close, even. Buster should already be in the locker room by now. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. Fifteen all. We'll get some of these questions probably after this game. I think this is yeah. an important game to watch. Agree. Here we go. Good serve. Rafa gets it back. Good shot down the line. A great winner by Carlenio Buster. Yeah, really good that man. Bit like um, a Medvedev shot that took all the pace off of it. Yeah, very short, like uh, around the service line, it bounced, and then the next bounce was pretty crazy. Ten forehand winners by Coronio Buster to three for Nadal. That's pretty. Uh, that's a mad stat. Yeah, 
There we go. Which side's he going? Another one. Made that 11. <laughs> incredible. It's so good, Buster. He really has been uh, incredible. Rising to the occasion. I'm going to say something crazy right now. Can Buster go all the way and win this tournament? Well, he definitely could. He's definitely got the ability. I mean, who's he going to come up against next? Potentially Zverev again if he goes through this one. Yeah, and World Live, I agree completely. I, I've said it before. Rafa, even though I was getting carried away on the other podcast with his 1,000th win, I did state even on that podcast that Rafa's not played very well at all in Paris. Um, yeah. A lot better when he's on the clay in Paris, but not this one because he's just been very poor, very poor all tournament. He's just been fortunate the fact that I think Pete players have just been very fearful with the fact that Rafa Nadal's the other side of the court. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, that's given him a few free points, but... Buster's not showing him that kind of respect. He's going for it. And um, we've seen the effects of that because Rafa Nadal, he doesn't deserve to be winning this match in any shape or form. And at best now, he's going to wish for a tie break, I think. Oh. Of course, he's got a hold here, though. This is a massive, massive That's moment. Long. He still has the opportunity. Don't forget to break again if he holds, though. I don't think he'll want this going all the way to a tie break. It's 250-50. Look how many winners Carino Buster's hit so far this match. And when he's in this form, I think you really need to get it done before you get into that uh, tie break. I don't think he needs that pressure, extra added pressure. Well, Gregor's saying there, interesting Great how Spain, serve. Serbia and Switzerland won't have any relevant tennis players left after the big three. I'm not wow. sure how true that is because for me, uh, Switzerland wise, you've got Laxenen, who's a really good player. Huesler, he's an up and coming player, playing yeah. very well at the moment. Spain, you've got Carlos Alcaraz Garcia. Leonie Kang. Yes, yeah. Leonie Kang, women's side. She's Swiss. She's a Swiss woman. Yep. Uh, and then who else is Spain wise? You've got obviously Buster, but he's a bit, he's a lot older. A good, he's a lot older. Alcaraz, um, obviously. Alcaraz is a big one for me. And then Serbia, you've got, there's a host of Serbian Lowe. players. Big one for me is Krajinovic. I think he's yeah, yeah. super impressive. Obviously, lost to Feliciano Lopez, Kismanovic as well, another young player. Yeah. So there's still still a lot of hope in all these nations. So, well, yeah, for sure. Be interesting to see who the real next uh, Spanish like top players who are going to be the ones Alcaraz. coming. It'll be Alcaraz. I don't yeah, see yeah, anyone getting mean, other than Alcaraz. Obviously, I mean, there must be some other players that. M who must be coming through as well. I mean, the youngest... Well, well, obviously, Pedro Martinez as well, really good forgetting, play court player. <laughs> forgetting one main one, Davidovich Fakina. That's going to be, yeah. obviously, a very, very... And there you go. Game to love. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Now we're right in the thick of this second set. Yeah, and we've it's got still... literally, look, Reino de España. He just confirmed some of the names we said. Carlos Alcaraz. Martinez, yeah, Carlos as well. Martinez, who I said, and Davidovic Fokina. Pedro Martinez, very good clay court player. He's yep. up to number 82 in the world at the moment, which is yeah, uh, I'd very, very good. Yeah, I'd like to hard court, so. But actually right as well, though, because, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy how few other players there are. I thought there was more players from Spain, really. But... They will be though, mate. They'll just I'm sure there's always going to be a steady supply coming through. Obviously, you've got the Rafa Academy turning out some good talent. Uh most yeah, recently, yeah. Kat Rude. Uh what through. about uh obviously what, he's on Spanish. Yeah, Kasparud, what about I suppose no one's Rafa talking Academy. I suppose no one's talking about Italy. They were the ones who have a lot of the uh great talent coming through right now on both sides Italy, as well. Italy for me is the nation which is have has all the talent, really. Italy and Russia. Yeah. Oh, well, Italy, Just they've... Was of it, mate. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Italy have got tons of tons of talent. They've obviously got uh, Massetti. Oh, Sina, Sina Massetti, Berrettini, they're the main three. Yeah. Got Zepieri. Well. Yeah, Gigante, so many that's another yeah. good one. Matteo Gigante. Uh, don't forget about... Uh, well, what was the other guy's name? Uh, Maroni. He's, he's not bad. Mm. Average. Arna Baldi. <laughs> no, the young one, not the old Federico. one. Yeah, Federico Arna Baldi, not the other one. Not very one. good. Not very good. No. <laughs> you were bigging and him up at one point. He's, he's okay, mate, but we're talking about the top echelon of tennis. All right, all right, all right. But anyway, all right. let's see what's going to happen because it's a big moment. Can Karina yeah. Buster 
Hold his serve to force the uh, tie break. Rafa. Was that a racket smash from Rafa? I don't think so. Sounded like something. Some racket hit something. Yeah, and Amit there. This is a really good point. The last comment I'll talk about in this game. Sorry, guys. Um, Juan Martin Del Potro. How much do you miss him? A Honestly, lot. one of my favourite tennis players of all time. It's so sad what's happened to him. I really yeah. hope we do see him on the tennis court again, but I'm not Never going to sure. be the same player again, is it? Rafa. Like Andy Murray coming back. Didn't really do very well. And obviously a big one, we just missed Sané guy. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many. That's what I mean. Italy's got a lot of talent that uh, is coming out of there. So, yeah, there's not there's a lot of people you don't want to count out. I think um, if Nadal wins this tie break, I think he's... How do you know uh, it's a tie break? He's still it's in this game. Break. Tie break. You don't know Bust that. Here we go. It's got bust. It was long there. So there you go. Chalanta cans, as the uh, umpire says. Yeah, I'm doing reverse psychology. So Rafa comes back and wins now. Maybe. Come on, Ben. Let's concentrate on the game. Stop flicking around your stats. What do you mean? <laughs> I need Too some many questions I coming in. Talk. Too many questions coming in. Right. Here we go. Serving 30 15 into the Rafa backhand and again into the Rafa backhand. He's dug that out. He's into the Rafa forehand cross court. Now he's gone backhand to forehand. It's long from Rafa. Oh. Gosh, the doubt doesn't, what he doesn't deserve it, mate. He doesn't deserve this set. He doesn't deserve this match. Well, Buster's playing so well. If Rafa gets out of this set, I'll, I'll be. Shocks. He's not playing better than Buster. Buster's playing better than him right now. So he's literally going to have to do a snatch and grab on this set. Oh, it's wide though. Wild on the forehand. They didn't have to go that close to the line. The whole court. Rafa didn't even react. Didn't even bother running. Maybe could have just hit say it. As well, a juice could be so deadly for him. Yeah. Thanks, everybody who's joined us now. 200 people in. If you haven't liked the video yet, please hit the like button. It really helps us out. It helps us show up in searches. Uh, here you go. Buster serving 40-30. Into the... more well, down the tee. And he's gone backhand. Rafa dug out the forehand return. Now he's gone slice backhand. Oh, it's into the net. we got juice. Oh, this is a big moment. Can Ooh. Rafa is two points away from taking the Ooh. second set? I'm making Damn. a real match of this right now. I just want to add on what Ben said. If you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 3,000 by the end of the year. And yeah. uh, we can't get there without you guys. Yeah, you know, the more people, the better. And I just Here heard something. The window of opportunity just opened for Rafa. And the missed first serve. And the window's just opened a little bit wider. Well, remember, it's the ad side, which is the... Uh, Harder side for Rafa as well. It's a second serve. Rafa, oh, it's a terrible one into the net from Rafa. That's oh. a waste. It's a waste, Rafa. You've wasted it. That is one what's just like, oh, it just zaps all the energy out of you. What are you yeah. doing? <laughs> He's probably thinking the same. It's like, oh, it's one of those that really zap the energy. I don't know, but believe it. This is not unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> this is very terrible. <laughs> That was a fault. Yeah, I was going to say. Late call from the line judge on that serve. Kristen still giving the passion. Vamos, Rafa! Vamos. Here we go. Buster. Interesting second serve. Took all the pace off it. They're going slice. Now, here we go. Rafa, forehand, big top spin, cross court. Now he's gone to the slice. Oh, it's hit the baseline. Oh, big backhand from Rafa. He's forced the error from Karenio Buster. It's back to juice. Oh, and you can cut the tension with a knife. I don't know what to say, Ben. This Speechless. is crazy. Here we go. I just juice. See what he did last time. That's embarrassing. In fact, it's actually made me really angry watching the Dal do that. What are you doing, <laughs> mate? What are you doing? Got another I chance. I could have actually done a lot better there watching it's that. Another chance, though. Here he is at juice. What service are we going to see? Nice in the net again. He's got a second serve. Rafa, he's there with Come bated on. breath. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's un <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a very unbelievable. And uh, a great return 
Buster returns a great forehand back. Now they're going down the middle. Rafa winner. Look at that. Vamos. 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 That's, it, man. That's what we're seeing. Come on. Set we point. The, we have to invent the Vamos button soon. <laughs> this is for Rafa matches. God, the chat's loving it here. We've there got we a go. lot. Break Rafa, point. Rafael Nadal and set point. Rafael Nadal. Here we go. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? The pressure. Buster, where's he serve? He goes down the tee. Rafa slice back. He goes into the Rafa forehand. Rafa down the line and he's got it. Oh, Rafa Nadal, what a shot. And he's taken the second set. Seven five. What a Vamos. shot. Mate, I'm pumped for that. I am pumped. I can't believe it. What a shot as well. I thought he was wow. under pressure. He dug it out on one of those epic forehands. The real Rafael Nadal just it's turned up, up, everybody. I can't believe wow. it. Wow. And who was it in the chat who was saying they put a ground on him earlier? Well, hope you didn't cash out, mate, because <laughs> that bet looking good right now. Yeah, because... good bit of analysis there from Wild Live. He was saying Buster blew his chance with a forehand error at 40 15. Can't he give Rafael even when he's not at his best. Agreed completely. The moment it went to juice, I was fearing the worst for Buster. Um, yeah. That's all he needed. Just a little opportunity, a little bit of hope. Well said. He always finds a way. These big three, they'll always find a way. You can't give them anything. <laughs> you give them anything right? They'll take a mile. I said, well, I said, is he going to be able to serve out in this second set? Because he's never been in the position where he's a set and close to the match against Rafael Nadal. And look what happened. The pressure, the Rafa pressure, and yeah. then the level raised. Big news. We've got Rafa Nadal in the studio right now. Let's pass it over to him. How are you, how are you feeling, Rafa, after that second set? He said, oh, well, it's a very, 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 very good. Uh, um, a very, very bad start to a second set. And uh, I think uh, in the last uh, service game, I did very, very good shot down line. And uh, I very, very look forward much to the unbelievable date sat on table and uh, I eat uh, about three or four now because I had a win set. So yeah, great. Well done, Rafa. Fantastic. <laughs> that that winner though, what a winner. That what a way to win a set. That shot down the line. Vintage Rafa, I think you call that. As well. Vintage Rafa. It makes a good shot look amazing when they put it in slow mo. Did you notice the level that just suddenly went up when it got to 40-30 and suddenly the power, the intensity, every rally suddenly mattered. Everything behind every shot, Rafael Nadal suddenly came to life and injected himself into this quarterfinal. And now, yeah. this third set, what are we going to see, JD? Well, uh, we did get your donation earlier. We didn't notice your name, but now we do. So we'll add you onto the leaderboard. Thank uh, you so sort of much, Ken. We really appreciate it. We've got the message as well. Vamos, Rafa. Yeah, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate everybody. Thanks, everybody who's joining us on the live stream as well. Uh, if, if you haven't liked the video yet, please hit the like button because we need all those likes to help us show up in recommended searches for all the other tennis fans. And the third set here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. We're going to be coming at you after this match, Zverev versus Vavrinka, and the two semifinals tomorrow and the final on Sunday. So don't miss it. What do you think now then, Ben? Advantage Rafa? <sighs> Definitely advantage Rafa, isn't it? I mean, look at that forehand. It's whipping now. And look at that. Oh, it's just yeah. wide. But still, the, just the, wide. Signal, the signal of intent now is there in those forehands. Are you not seeing it? I think he has to keep the intensity. Yeah, agreed. Not been good at all. However, he's at one set all and it's doesn't seem fair tennis at times but that's just the way it goes you need to take opportunities when they're presented to you and these big three they always will buster's just going to be ruining that missed opportunity at 40 15 you could have been in a tie break already well yeah exactly and this is it but against these big guys oh and there's another window opportunity here love 30 mate I'm not, been, I'm not surprised buster's been the better player this whole match he has Rafa turned it on for one game <laughs> and managed to get a set. So Got three points. Oh. Yeah. 
the, don't forget, this is the tournament, I believe, that Rafa Andal's never won either. So he's going to be looking to uh, add this to his uh, repertoire. Yeah, so join Djokovic for the most uh, Masters titles. Exactly. And, well, it, it'll just look really good going into the finals, ATP Tour finals in London as well, if he manages to uh, pull this off. Great. Yeah, look at that. Great placement now on that forehand. It's really turned it up a notch, that forehand speed. Yeah, massively. There you go. Wildlife saying Ladal still can't maintain his level. And Hader saying that Carreño Buster will break him. Well, either... Well, they're both sort of the same thing. They still can't maintain level. He could be broken or... Maybe he's just going to just try and get through the set again and just take an opportunity when it arises. Second serve. And uh, just seeing... Uh, not been, has been pretty epic. Yeah. Alariza just saying there, uh, why do you think Rafa has gone down in performance? I think it's the surface, mate. This just doesn't really suit him indoor hard yeah, yeah. He's never been good. And I don't think that's going to change now, to be honest. Not, I say never been good. He's never been one of the world's best on it. However, no. he can still beat other players. And uh, there's still a good chance he'll beat Buster even today because that's how great he is. Yeah, yeah, for However, sure. You never, you're going to see tricky matches. This whole tournament, if he was to win it, you're not going to. it's not going to be cut and dry like Roland Garros. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs. He's going to be on the verge of defeat a few times and come through it. That's just the way it's going to be. And the way it'll always be on indoor hard court for Rafa Nadal. Definitely. 40-30. There we go. He's managed to dig his way out of that with a few, a couple of good serves. Well, three points in a row then. And we've seen what happened last time. He went love 40 down. He had a good little surge then at the beginning of the second set. Is he going to do the same again here in the third? Wait and see. Yeah, I might have to go and use the little boys room quickly whilst we have a little break. Yeah, that's where it's been. It's a good time now. One love, Rafael Nadal. How will Buster respond? Obviously, getting that second set snatched from beneath him. Personally, I think he's going to be okay. I don't think we're going to see Buster falter too much. He's been really good. Um, he just needs to stick in there with Rafael Nadal. And I'm sure next time he has an opportunity to close for the match at 40 15, he's not going to let that slip by him again. He's just going to be super disappointed, really, because the longer this match goes on, the more you're always going to favour Rafael Nadal. The best players, the longer the sets, you'll always favour them the longer the match goes on. Romel there asking, who are you picking between Zverev and Ravrenka? <sighs> super tough. I think I'm going to have to be boring and go for Zverev. I think he's been in such great form. Um, it's hard to really go against him. Won 10 matches in a row, back-to-back -back in Cologne. However, Wawrinka was really impressive against Roblev. And we've seen Wawrinka in the past beat informed players and uh, end their winning run. So could we be seeing that again? I think it's going to be super close, but I'll have to go with Sverev. What did I miss? Oh, nothing, mate. Just one point. Oh, Two there points. There you go. Not bad. 15 all. So... 15 all. Could he go for an early break? Could we see a 6 1, 6 2 in this final set? Could Rafa finally turn it up? Oh, looking at the forehand unforced errors there. Buster, 23 unforced errors versus Nadal's 11. However, I think Buster's hit a lot more winners, so evens out. Yeah. Oh, still hitting with a lot of power, that forehand. It's sort of a drop shot by Nadal that he's brought in, Karenia Buster. And that backhand's letting him down a lot today, yeah, Rafa. I didn't go for the lob. I'd have opted for the lob there. I don't think he's hitting it well at all. I don't think he can go for the lob. Wild Live saying, I desperately want Stan to win, but Zverev will serve him <laughs> off the court. Yeah, that's my fear. It would be nice. <laughs> I, I would have liked to. I'm quite impartial, really, on that match. I would like to see Stan win. I just... Of being honest, I think Zverev will take him. Well, he's in my bracket. I've got Nadal and I've got Zverev. Great drop shot, Carino Buster. 
No chance again to that. 40-15. He's questioning the serve, whether it was in or not, Rafa, but a bit late to be questioning it now. You've already played the return. Yeah, it's good to see we've had a few more people join the bracket league. We've got now another oh. three people join. Oh, really? Oh, perfect. Yeah, Love that. For joining us on that. It's obviously free and you can compete against us to see how how right or wrong your predictions are. Yeah, we've got a few people in. Let's throw the link in there again so that people can... Uh, Join the league. Always good to have as many people in as possible. We don't forget we've got Sophia coming up as well to play that. Uh, we can predict that one. And we've got the finals, the ATP Tour finals. WTA Linz. Oh, WTA Linz as well. Don't forget that. The women are still playing, <laughs> even <laughs> if we haven't heard of about them playing since Estrava. Don't know what's happening on the women's tour right now. They're not oh, really organised. Very well on the league. Uh, yeah. She's saying Vavrenka play like they played yesterday. Stan will win. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I don't like it for my bracket, but I like it for uh, nice predicting. I think Stan played so well yesterday, but he was playing a tired Rublev. Well, Sharuk saying maybe Stan will have another comeback versus Zverev. Oh, and he's too big and juice now. And look at this. Rafa's edging his way in. Yep. Edging in. Edging in. He was 15 up again as well. Kind He's of getting his claws. Him. He's sticking those claws into Cronio Buster right now, refusing to let them let him go. Pin him into this juice. Here we go. Buster, where's he going to go? Goes down the tee. Great serve, but somehow he got the return back. Great uh, play, Rafa. And it's into the net and a break point here. Rafa on a dowel. Oh, my back. God. Rafa is back. What are we seeing here? <laughs> and what would this be, Ben? Is it two, three? It could, would this be four? Four games? No, three games in a row? Would this be yeah. three games in a row? I, I believe it so. Breaks, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's pretty crazy to think that uh, it was looking like a Carreño Buster win. Great serve. But it's out to the Rafa forehand. He gets it back with interest. Oh, he's looped to slice backhand. Buster out to the Rafa backhand. He's slicing it back. Out to the forehand. Rafa is sat up for him. It's long. Why did he do that? In. Played it well, though. It's unlucky. Long. Yeah, but he it's just like he had all the time in the world for that forehand, and he didn't know what to do with it. He just overhit it. Sometimes it's better when he doesn't have time to think about it. Emma there saying, Buster's making far too many mistakes. Agreed. He's lost his consistency. Good serve out to the Nadal backhand. It's into Nadal forehand. Good shot. Oh, great drop shot there. Rafa somehow got there. And now he's at the net. He's fired it. Oh, my God. Oh. Great play. Oh, Rafa, what a shot. And what? he sets up a break point oh. for me. That's up there. That's got to be top three points of the match. What the hell happened there? Oh. It literally... That. He drop shotted. Rafa somehow got there at the last ditch. Hey, like then the demon. I don't know how he got there. He had so a far. shot fired at him at the, at the net. He volleyed it back. Then he had another shot fired at, at him down the line. Somehow did the perfect volley. Incredible. Just incredible. Here we are. Great point. Number two. Here we go. It's into the net, and Rafa is now looking. He's bearing down on Carreño Buster, Pablo. Oh, he's into the Rafa backhand. He gets a good one back. Good winner, Carreño Buster. Fair play. What a way to, to save a break point. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. As we're approaching the two-hour mark. Wow. This match. Well, the other match was supposed to start at seven, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that, that's not happening. I already updated it, don't worry. Oh, nice one. I have to update it again. There you go. Great serve from Cranio Buster and the advantage. Just like that, it changes around. This has been a very long service game. Yeah. One he wants to get out of. That break point seems like eternity ago. Yeah, it really does. Gosh. 
Like a missile, that backhand. There you go, and he holds. What a hold that is from Karenio Buster. Got a lot of fight and ball. Just disturbing the whole table, then. Yeah, we're uh, going to have to go to the, to the loo myself. You do it, mate. You do it. It's gone on longer than we expected. So, one all. We're level pegging here in the final set of this epic match between Rafael Nadal, Karenio Busta. And uh, let us know, guys, in the comments, which way do you see this one going? Do you think Rafa's going to be able to dig out the win here? Or do you think Karenio Busta's just playing too well? He held his serve there. Didn't seem like he was going to be able to, but he managed to uh, pull through there and get the hold. What do you reckon? Rafa, is he going to be under pressure on his serve again? Here we go. He missed his first serve. Got a second serve now. Into the uh, Kalina Buster forehand. It's down the middle. Buster into the uh, Nadal forehand. Oh, it's wide. He's tried to force it too much. Too much there from Karenio Buster. But uh, still, he's at least going for it, Karenio Buster. And I think that's something that you uh, really need. He cannot start playing passively. That's not what got him into this situation where he's one set all. If he starts playing passive, Rafa's going to take over this match. He has to keep trying to hit the lines. Oh, good return. Rafa finishes it off. The one-two punch. And it's guaranteed. If there was a crowd here right now, they would be on their feet for this match, especially for that Rafa shot when he uh, leveled it at once at all. But here we go. Rafa's serving at 30 love now. Goes down the tee. Oh, it's a good return. Right to his feet. Buster putting Rafa on the back foot. Oh, he's overcooked the volley. He went for a top spin forehand volley. Pushed it long. 40 love. And we could be looking at a game to love coming up. We always love them here. And if you love game to love as well, hit the like button on the video if you haven't done it yet. I know I keep saying it, but it does really help us out. I know we've got 180 people in watching. It really does help. And uh, it really does help the channel grow. I know it seems hard to believe. Here we go. Oh, great play. He returns the Rafa smash with a winner. Karenio Buster. He's not out of this game yet. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's down there somewhere. And hit the notification for all the other stuff we've got coming up. But can Rafa Nadal get out of this game? Doesn't want to give him another uh, look in on this game. Not at all. Needs to uh, stay strong in this. Or oh, first serve into the net is not the uh, right start. <laughs> Amit reckons uh, it's curtains for PCB. Well, it's pretty level at the moment. We don't like to jinx it. And Kristen saying Rafa has one of the best mentality in the history of tennis. But there you go. I think it's just a double fault, though. That's not the best mentality. 40-30 now. Rafa needs to needs to, uh, needs to to get a good first serve in here. Otherwise, he could find himself on the receiving end of a juice. What have I missed here, Ben? Well, he was, it was, looked like it was going to be a game to love. And suddenly, we're now at 40-30. Rafa double fault. And he's missing his first serves a lot in this service game. That's right, I'm back now, mate. He'll, he'll hold this. Yeah, well, we will see. We're in charm. <clears throat> Here we go. Second serve. Out wide. Cranio Buster. And there you go. You're right. Why Just like we... that. Everyone's saying curtains. Curtains for PCB. Is I that know. too early to say? Just clicked on that one. <laughs> 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 You're late to the party. Yeah, I know. But, uh, I don't think it is. It's on serve in the final set. I think it's a pretty close match, to be honest. I agree with Prem. He's saying this match is both guys 50 50 chance. My thinking, bro. Yeah. Well, it's definitely 50 50. There's, there's no breaks of serve yet. And we've seen both of them come close on each other's service games early in this third set. It's, it's not, be for me, it's not 50 50. I'll put it in 70 30, Rafa Nadal's favour. 
I think mm. he's just got that little edge. To get it over the line, he's got yeah. more experience for sure. Well, he's not playing better for sure. I'd say in terms of the way they're playing, you'd probably give it 60-40, Buster. Well, the way they're playing, Buster's playing really well. Rafa's put, put he's his warming up. up. He's showing some like spells of complete brilliance, but then other times he's just like, what are you doing? He's showing some age. Mate, come on, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm you don't, that's, that's when you're going to start crying <laughs> if you start saying that Rafa's. Mate, Sruk's got another ten percent higher. Eighty twenty, Rafa. <laughs> Eighty twenty. <laughs> wow, no respect still for uh, PCB ever. This is a wild sad life saying Buster has no chance when making so many errors. Yeah, but whilst Why it's still over taking so long as well. Whilst it's still a uh, level, yeah, you went for a toilet break during the games, mate. You didn't wait for the didn't wait for the break. Not like me, not polite. <laughs> <laughs> mate, when you have to go, you have to go. What can I do? Get a bucket. <laughs> Here we go. Well, Daniel Buster with comes inconsistency. Yeah, tell me about it. I've realised that with Ben and then pressing them buttons. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh, he's dug that out. Great play here. Whoa, what a oh, slice from Rafa. It's still in. Wow. Fair play, Rafa. And for me, that is up there as well. It's one of the best yeah. shots in the match. And that's just so, he... that's what I'm saying. He does something like that. And then the next the next minute, he's going to miss a simple second serve. Into the net or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Just that is incredible. Pretty ridiculous. That. Really I don't know how he dug. As well. That forehand he dug out there. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Well, Rafa, not lost I think, it. Mate, that is the turning point in this match. Still going a bit thin on top, though, isn't he? Can see like his scalp from that overhead uh, view. Mate, oh, great play! I don't, know, I don't want to see a bald Rafa though. It's gonna ruin it. Can he not get like those? Uh, you look like Manorino. Can, can he not get like the hair implants? Can we not make him last, like live forever? Mate, he's rich enough. Can he get the Rooney ones? Rooney did his ones. They were all right. <laughs> there you go. The unforced error count for the match. Uh, Buster what's that? twenty-seven unforced errors. On the forehand side, Nadal 12. Wow. But forehand winners, he's hit 18. Rafa Nadal 12. Great. Oh, no. And he's we dragged three. it and it's three break points. And what did I say to you, Ben? That that was a big turning point, that huge, amazing shot. Well, that slice, yeah. yeah. I know how he dug it out. I mean, you, when you hit a winner and you see it come back, it's demoralizing. Yeah, agreed. So here we go. Rafael three Nadal. Break points. As he says, Tlez. And it's not been convincing this match whatsoever. However, if he comes through this, here we go. It shows what type of player oh, he is. Oh, let second serve. It's the nervous let second serve. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You can't believe it, can you? Rafa, big backhand. Karenio Buster's scrambling. He's played it behind him. Karenio Buster's got it back. Ah, oh, he's done it! Ah, oh, he's done it! He what breaks. a break! Boom, just like that. Yeah. Things you love to see in <laughs> tennis. Rafa Nadal, break your, the opponent's serve. That's Tom Rowley going. Ben looks like Ben Wampere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about as good on court as he is right now as well. Mate, don't flatter yourself. No, no, I'm nowhere near as good as he is on court. <laughs> but, I mean, his results are probably similar to what I would hey, be Ben suffering. Warpair would double bagel you in about 30 minutes. 30 minutes? That's generous, mate. It sounds like <laughs> I've gone to juice a couple of times. I think it... Oh, oh here we and go. What, what this is one-way traffic Did now. I say 6-1? I think I said 6-1. I can oh. smell the breadstick from here, mate. Wild Live saying, match over. Rohan, are we even surprised? Emma, Rafa will win this easy now. Margaret, who? let's go. I want to know who it was who put the ground on Rafa and if they're still in. Did they cash out? They've done. No, they haven't come back. Oh, look at that for a serve. And now, look, if he goes to 4 1 here, it's just. God, Mate, it's, it's a over. long way back. It's, it's over. It's not a long way back. All right. It's, over. it's, don't it's done, him. Ben. It's done. 
<laughs> so it's time to ride your rainbow to dreamland pcb or play that <laughs> good comment yeah eric it. saying it's over now alexis nadal is the boss i agree wasn't it like that song wasn't it who was it who did that it's over it's over now move over it's my turn now <laughs> i think that's Mate, i don't know that song that that song that song fit uh fits this match <laughs> oh, no faulty love if you know the name of the song let us know get a, game get a medical time out though from buster is he gonna give it one last oh, chance i think he might argue with the umpire for 10 minutes about something <laughs> ir irrelevant that, that doesn't hey, I even... hope not. i'm excited for zverev now he might just hit a ball at the umpire or something just to get out of the match yeah i just want to say guys also we'll be covering the zverev match straight after this one so um hopefully game many to of love you can join us for that Game to and love. It's a game Ching. to love. Cheers. I finished Cheers, my beer. I'm saving my next one for the next mm. podcast. I know, mate. I think it's wise. We got to do potentially another three hours if it goes like anything like Vavrinka's last match. Man, at least we work tomorrow. We've got the weekend. But then saying that, we've got a very busy day tomorrow with a stacked mate, field. I'm Two busier semifinals. Than you. I haven't gotten my heating's not working here. I've got a gas engineer coming around at eight in the morning. What's he doing on a Saturday? Well, looking at tomorrow's fixtures, we've got Medvedev round it to one o'clock tomorrow. And I believe it will be the winner of this versus the winner of Sverev straight after, probably about three o'clock. I know I need some super chats to come in to help me pay the heating bill. <laughs> <laughs> We're not a charity, Ben. I, I, need to, I need to pay the gas, man. I think the electricity is going to get cut off next. Mate, no, think about not... me. I'm outside literally in here. Ah, uh, well, at least, the part, at least they've stopped shooting at you now. <laughs> <laughs> small wins in life so if Rafa is to come through this that would be his 1,002nd victory on tour yeah. wow it's impressive isn't it I was thinking something quite funny I don't know if it's funny I thought it was funny it's not going to be funny now you've said it's funny <laughs> that's, that's don't say true. it it's not going to be funny say, I'm saying it I'm saying it leave me alone uh, uh, you know obviously they had all of the stuff ready for Rafa on the Dow obviously they knew his 1000th win would be against in this tournament against Feliciano Lopez yeah they had it all prepared they had the big massive 1000 thing all made up they had all the things what happens if he didn't win where does it go <laughs> <laughs> what do they do with the big 1,000? They'll just do wheel they... it into the next tournament. <laughs> they have to ship this. They'll have to ship, ship the 1,000 sign over to London. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> and then if he doesn't win in London, imagine if he loses all the matches in London as well. <laughs> then it'll be shipped over to, I don't know, someone's got to keep it in their garage. <laughs> go over to Australia. Kyrgios hangs on to it. Has to bring it to the tournament. There'll be like a patch of mould on it or something by the end of it. It'll it all broken up. Bit. They're like, can you put this in the boot of your car? Bring it to the, uh, bring it to the Australian <laughs> Open. We need it for Rafa's next match. No, that's a good point, actually. It's quite funny. I don't, well, that. obviously they have to preempt these things, don't they? Yeah. So, yeah. In reality, they probably would have just thrown it away. <laughs> that's, the, that's the real answer. And then they would have made another one wherever the next one was, <laughs> didn't they? So. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know, stupid, stupid uh, comment, but I just thought it was, uh, would have been not interesting. Not a bad one for you, Ben. I quite like wow. it. You said it's not going to be funny now, so. <laughs> no, it's <was> relatively <laughs> funny. <laughs> Here we go. Buster serving 30-15. Miles long. Rafa spanks the return. So what are you trying with that terrible serve? I think we're a bit behind. It's already gone 30 all. So that's long. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand how it suddenly goes ahead sometimes, these scores. Wild life calling for the bagel. Unfortunately, mate, that's not possible. Is that what how is that even possible? <laughs> I think he means breadstick, but yeah, yeah. potential could happen. The breadstick. Or as they say in Paris, Le Baguette. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald's oh. going out on town, mate. He's going on the town. Oh, Rafa wins. My Je Friday voudrais. night will be good. Je voudrais une baguette. Here we go. They're going. Now, look, Buster's still hitting that backhand, the double-handed backhand hard. He's gone. Oh, a winner from Rafa. Oh, what a shot. 
And that sets up another break point oh. and the opportunity for Rafael Nadal to go 5 1 up. Oh, I bet he can't even hold the racket right now. It's burning. It's on fire. <laughs> Literally. It's too hot to handle that racket right now. <laughs> Sizzling. Wait, right, they see the buster's face. He's like, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I like the fact. I don't wonder how many times Rafa has to adjust his uh, boxer shorts per match. I've noticed that even. There you go. And you're great. That's so cool, mate. You didn't. I missed the consolidation again as well. <laughs> oh my God, wait, I don't sorry. think you've got one. I got one today. Did I not? No, maybe not. No, I think I got one. No, I don't think you've done no. any. <laughs> I don't think I've done any. You're right. Too it's busy, been an absolute. Man. I don't know what you're doing. It's been an absolute nightmare. I'm just having such a good time, mate. In this, but like, mate, the life. breadstick is coming, and Zverev is in the locker room warming up because he's going to be out on court very soon. Oh, so oh, oh. and a place against either oh. Alex Berev or Ravrenka. Wow, look at that for a start. Well, I said 6 1, didn't I? It's probably going to yep. see that in the last set. Well, but... I said 6 1 in the second set, didn't I? It wasn't to be <laughs> close. There's still a 6 1. Maybe it's not done. Yeah, yet. and I'm happy for you, Ken. Obviously, massive Rafa fan, always super confident in Rafa, and I agree with you. Oh, close to an ace. Karenia Buster, he's thinking, where did it all go wrong? Mate, it's the 40-15. The 40-15 is just so bad, yeah. mate. I had flashbacks of Roger Federer, uh, Djokovic, <laughs> at Wimbledon in the bring final. <laughs> all those Federer fans. They're hating on you right now. Yare, Yare saying, I think Sverev <clears throat> is too tired to handle this stand. Really? Wow. And Smith, Smith Jane saying, yeah. Sverev gets tired. Curtains now for sure. Two more points. It's into the net. Is the business end, Ben? I, can, I, might be, <laughs> <laughs> no, I might be able to press the consolidation if he holds it, at least. <laughs> for the big finale. <laughs> I know. That's it, mate. Oh, it's wide. And we got three match points. Rafael Nadal. Yeah, two hours, 12 minutes. Slightly oh. quicker than the round itch on but one. I think that was about two hours, 20. Getting a bit of a numb bum here in this seat. I'm looking forward to stand up for a bit. Here we go. Here we go. Match point. Ah, wide. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't do a round itch, finish it off with an ace. Oh, great shot. He's dug it out. And it's there, Rafa! Thanks that much. Bump. And there we go. Ben's finally pressed the button. And with that, <laughs> Rafa on the Dow is into the semi-finals. And it wasn't one of his best performances, but he's in the hat for the next round. And he'll be playing the winner of Alex Vera versus Stan Wawrenka. Join I mean, us very shortly for that yeah. one. Nadal was wasn't very crazy. good today, but I think he's going to raise his game for the next one. We were waiting for it, weren't we? We were just waiting for that one moment when something just went click and it all turned on and it was just like all systems go. <laughs> and travel to everyone saying, yeah, that uh, impression of PCB sounds similar to the Rafa in Northern Spain. I had never done a PCB. I just went for it. All right. <laughs> No, I'm not. A, I'm not just a stereotype in all Spanish with the same accent. I'll keep my Rafa for Rafa from now well, on. And Kent makes a good point. It was a game to love, Ben. So cheers. For yeah, that. cheers, mate. He had a lot of them in that last set. Yeah, I just want to say now we've got 190 people here. Thanks for joining us. If you've not already liked the video, I know Thomas Rock has been liking all of our videos. He said that he just got back from liking all our past videos. So thanks for that, <laughs> Thomas. Cheers, if you've not already liked this one, also, so join us, subscribe. It's only it's free. It doesn't cost any money. You can subscribe to our channels and we'll be doing a lot more podcasts and also these live watch alongs. But anyway, we'll see you soon. We're going to have some break, a little break now, maybe a bite to eat, and we'll be back. See you on the next one.
Wait, I don't have the button there. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're I'll... too soon you're too soon I'll do it, but yeah right. we'll see you on the next one <laughs>